Welcome back, everyone, to Calls with the Wizard. I almost get mixed up because I want to say Rodian Radio, but not today's Calls with the Wizard. But before I introduce my very special guest, Johnny D in the place to be from Spanish Fly, uh, we're going to go ahead and promote uh, a show that will be uh, happening this Saturday. And I actually have the man that is putting it together. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And then he, after him, we'll go ahead and jump right into the calls. Okay. But you guys are going to want to stay tuned because I'm going to have somebody, a special guest call in. He actually met with the rapper Tiger last night. And uh, he's going to call in and let us know everything that pretty much happened within that one meeting. So uh, our, our voices were heard and uh, we'll, we'll he'll fill us in and let us know what took place. So without further ado, please allow me to introduce Jonah from UBN. Thank you, brother. Did I get that right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Now, uh, Jonah, that flyer that we're going to be promoting right now should be up on the screen. If not, it will be up on our first break. Okay. Yes, uh, but now, fill us in a little bit about you. Who are you? How long have you been putting these shows together? So, actually, uh, so my name is Jonah, founder of UBN. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been doing music pretty much my, my whole life you know uh, I, I did a six-year term and got out of prison I tried to do music back in 2008-9 you know okay th then, then kids got in the way you know I mean okay. that got in the way but you know you have kids right. and your life changes you got to go to work right so uh, you know so I mean I did a little buzz I had my little thing you know but I got life. Life got in the way. Okay. Now, now when you said you did music, were you, uh, were you a DJ or, or were you uh, producing? I was a, actually an artist. So I was recording music. Uh, I actually have like sixty tracks that I unreleased that I recorded back then. Okay. And then uh, uh, I have a lot of music recorded now too because I'm about. So I'm not much of a performer now anymore because you know I'm more about the. Uh, promotion and the uh -huh. and the uh, uh, guidance and the helping and the promoter. You know, like I pay for videos. I help artists that I believe in. I actually have one of my artists here today, Shelly V. Shelly V. Okay. Yes. And uh, uh, you know who actually dropped a video today as well. You know, awesome. which is a, also a, a UBM production. Uh, and uh, with that said, it's now I'm living not so much to promote me as an artist, even though I am making an album. It's called the Brown Album. Okay. Which I plan on releasing uh, at the end of uh, the winter. So sometime at the end of the year. Okay. It's called uh, the Brown Album 2022. Now, and that's going to be your album? It's my album with so many collaborations. Okay. From Isabella Soul to Shelly V to, uh, uh, I mean, the list would just go on. From Jaguar, from... Uh, Azumali, who just did a uh, mm -hmm. who just did a, fe a feature with Conejo. Uh -huh. Can, can uh, you scoot the mic a little bit close to you, brother? So yeah, so basically, I've been working with a lot of artists throughout the years. So okay. The Brown albums, the Brown albums, probably going into its third year of work. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, I took a little break from the promotion and the recording and the music uh, to get involved in 2022. I mean, in 20 in 2020, you know, during the. Uh, um, the marches and stuff okay. Uh, okay so you know i involved myself in that i and you know did some good work and just it was eating me up and it, it's just a little too much okay lost my family uh lost my family and went bankrupt so you lost your family went bankrupt yeah okay <laughs> now before we get to that because uh, um that, that's <clears throat> That's that's a lot, man, for you, for what you were doing. A lot of people may not know what you were doing, but we'll get into that now. When you said you were an artist, uh, um, w were you performing already? Did you have music out? Yes. Okay, okay. And if people wanted to look it up, can they still find it? Ooh, maybe in MySpace. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was back We're talking when, about MySpace times. Yeah, that was when dinosaurs used to yeah. roam the earth, bro. So, I mean, does anybody still have a MySpace? I have uh, Tom, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tom. I, I, was your I, first I thought friend. I saw him on Facebook. Tom was everybody's first friend, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, so now, when now, now, where did you, where are originally are you from? La Puente. Okay, La Puente. Born and raised. Born and raised in La Puente, California. You come from a big family. Uh, he's, a lot of brothers, a lot of sisters. Well, it's funny, right? Yeah, I, I do have a big family, but I didn't know I had a big family until I was about thirteen. And how was dad, that? Uh, well, because my mom, well, I'm the bastard. So I have my dad, you know, who's from, you know, he came over here, met my mom, had his family over there, oh, okay. and, you know, and then I came and I suffered for his mistakes. Well, <laughs> I get what you're saying, yeah. but I'm not going to look at you like a mistake, but because you're here for a reason. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so, uh, uh, but I hear what you're saying. Now, now let me ask you this. You mentioned something about marches. Yes. Uh, I, I want people to grasp what you were involved in, what you did for when, the community. When I say the community, I'm talking about Raza. Okay, and it involves, if I'm correct, kids in cages. That was my main focus. Okay. Uh, is, um, so, first, my focus was, yeah, it's kind of a rough topic for me to talk about this because okay, then you don't have to go. <laughs> but, you don't have to go so in depth. Maybe right. just so. I was part of the activism and marching since 2016. Okay. I attended all the marches. I attended all the rallies, you know, with the big old Trump movement and all that other bullshit, you know? Right. And then they started focusing on this white supremacy and blah, 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 right? And I don't say blah, 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 like, and, like it doesn't matter. It's right. just we have bigger problems than that. So I don't focus so much on just that. And right. when you're out there in the political scene, they, you have this narrative, they have this agenda that the white people are the fucking enemies and capitalism is the fucking problem and right. money is fucking the root of all evil. Right. And, you know what I mean? Like, like they, 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 it's just looking at problems and never looking for solutions, yo. Okay. And, and everything that they're complaining about, like, oh, the fucking system is built against us and the fucking this and that. It's like, yo, I come from fucking food stamps. I come from fucking welfare. I come from fucking Section 8. I was sleeping on the fucking streets on my own. I've been raising myself since I was 13 till today. Right. I'm a single father of five kids. So so you think that people were, instead of looking for solutions, they were just focusing looking on the problems? problems and always asking for money. You know what I mean? Okay. Always asking for, you know, and to me, I funded my own movement. Mm -hmm. I use my own money for my business to fund my movement. Right, you know, right. I, I, I never, I never had no GoFundMes to uh, uh, have, have help with marches or help with this. It was all through my business. Okay. Which caused a lot of tension at home with, you know, with exactly. my family Pretty much. and, you know, and everything. And, what, but what, what I believe that it was very important to bring awareness to the children in cages. Right. Even though Free Our Kids was not only that. Right. Free Our Kids started sponsoring ships. So we also sponsor children that are junior Olympic champions, like Kevin Gundino out of La Puente Boxing Gym. Him and his brother are actually the national champions of the United States right now. Mm. So we help pay for their tickets and hotel rooms and get them to Kansas and Texas. So Free Our Kids was always to help kids stay in sports and stay mm. off of the streets. You know what I mean? Keep them away from the gangs, keep them away from the drugs. So right. it was a foundation that I started myself and I fund myself through well, my business. Well, no, no, you know, say that somebody's listening right now and wants to know what, what was it that motivated you and inspired to do this? Because you could have just stayed home, you know, with your family. You could have just went to work and not cared. What, what, do, you, what do you think it was that, that motiv motivated you and inspired to move in that, that, that direction to help these children? No kid deserves to go through what I went through growing up. Okay, okay. So you pretty much said, you know, looking back at your past, this should not be happening. Let me make sure that this doesn't happen again, if you will. Exactly. Okay. So like when I got out of prison, right? I got out of prison, I, I, I had six years of writing music. Uh -huh. I, wanted to, I, wanted to, I wanted to do music, yo. I saw that movie Hustle and Flow in prison. Right? Okay. You know, the, with Terrence Howard. Whoop that track. Yeah, yes. I saw that movie, bro. I went out. And I said, you know what, bro? I got out. I started selling dope. I went back to the game. Started selling dope. I bought all my own shit. I got, I, you know, I had my homie, my little homie that grew up, my brother's friend. He had a trailer. We stacked it up. We got a trailer. We got all the music equipment. We started recording music. We started going to work. We started hitting town. He was a promoter. He started putting me up in shows. I started going to all kinds of little bars, clubs, Staples Center, everywhere. I did my little noise. But... I got my kid, you know, I started having my kid. It was too much drama with the woman at home, you know, talking about, I'm just doing it for the woman and da, 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 da. Right, and right. You know what I mean? You hear all that drama. Right. And so I stopped. And for a lot of years, I was dead on the inside because I always wanted to do the music. So in 2016, well, 2015, I started getting involved in music again. Okay. Started looking for artists, started promoting, started interviewing. You know, in 2016, I got focused on the marches and the, my political, my, my political right. views, you know, and... And then uh, 2020 came, you know, I had a broken foot and everything. So when I was doing the marches, I was doing everything on a cane. 
So, uh, uh, um, now when you say marches, and these were all marches, were they just focused in? The marches focused on the children in cages, yes. Okay, for, uh, now were you guys ever able to march at the actual location where they had the children? So, we went to one location in Arelanto, which I believe began the whole movement that was organized through another organization. Uh, Arelanto, that's uh, pretty much where, if I'm correct, where those children were, were massacred over there. Was that was that it? No, uh, Arelanto is uh, uh, out in the deserts where. Oh, do I'm, talking you remember? About I'm talking about Texas. Yeah, Texas. My, my apologies. Go ahead. So, so you remember that a, a couple of years ago it came out on the news where they said that the children were being molested by the the, the workers. Yes, w was that true? So, oh yes, it's true. But what happened is that in Arelanto, there were only they, there wasn't like that wasn't where they were mainly keeping the children. Mm. That's more of a prison for the adults. But there was word that there were a few children there. So every, people went. And it was a very emotional state of mind, right? You're, you're hearing right, right. that children are being molested by people who are working in there. Yeah. And the people who are really working in there really look like us. You know what I mean? So, oh, wow. that, so, 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 you know, that's why when I hear white supremacy, white supremacy is like, no, we're like our worst enemies. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're there. We're doing what we're doing. Everybody's voicing, you know, practicing their First Amendment rights to right. speak up for the children that have rights because they're human. Right. You know what I mean? Right. No, no child deserves to be in a cage. They're in cages till this day. This That's day. why I say that the political, the political, and the activists are like activists because what's the difference if there's a Democrat as right. a president you, and you a know, Republican? Nobody's making noise anymore. You, you know, but let me say this, okay? A lot of people may not ever say this, and they wanted to blame everything on Trump. I was, I was not a, a Trump voter or a Trump supporter, but I will say this. Because everybody, when Trump was in office, I noticed that everybody was blaming everything on Trump. Okay. But those kids were in cages when Obama was there as well. Yep. Okay, so we had a... Democrat. A, right. Uh, either you're a donkey, bro, or an elephant. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what, what it comes down to. But you know, our, our people always like to be like, oh, Democrats are going to be our saviors. Right, right. <laughs> no man is going to be our savior, bro. And okay. This is what I say. So Obama had kids in cages. Trump had the kids in cages. Biden has the kids. None of them has solved anything. No, none of them. And it, Just money? Yeah. Okay. So but then let's not forget that the Clintons, Bill Clinton, a Democrat, is the one who started the school to prison pipeline system. Okay. So they've been in the business of putting kids in cages forever. Right, right. You know, now, th there's uh, uh, indications now that Trump's going to run again, okay? <laughs> uh, um, I I'm going to tell, tell you what I think, okay? Well, not what I know, but what I think. I think I think Latinos now, when I say Latinos, I'm speaking about Raza, I think they're going to be a little bit bolder now and go ahead and vote for Trump because I think they're tired of this guy biting right now. You know, I think they're going to be a little bit more vocal and say, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and vote for Trump. Because if it's going to be Trump or Biden again, I think people are going to vote for Trump. What, what do you think? Do you think Trump has a chance of getting back in office? I vote for this time. If I were to vote, I'd vote for a Republican and I'd vote for DeSantis. DeSantis. Okay. The Florida governor. Okay. So I'm hoping that he steps up and, and, and you know what, I mean, because... I hear him talk, uh -huh. and I agree with a lot of things that he's talking, yeah. especially with uh, not educating our children about gender and all that shit at, at, throughout kindergarten through third grade or fourth grade. You know what I mean? Like, right, like right. That, that, let the kids be kids, yo. They had no business getting, you don't have no business, just like separate church from state, separate that bullshit too from the kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. So but I, but, I, but I there's agree. an agenda, you know that yeah, already. Yeah, the agenda is you, you, you want to make men feel ashamed of being men. And, and women being ashamed of being women. And well, that's why you got men in dresses now and tight ass jeans, uh, I mean, purses. To, to, I say I say to each their own, but you don't have the right to tell my kids. Right, right. That, you know what I mean? And, and that's when it becomes a problem. But but you know how they're gonna do it through music. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> now all that is over. Your march. Are you still involved in that? I vocally voice my opinion. Okay. I, I always keep up on what's going on. I share. Okay. I remind it on, on on a weekly basis. You know, we still got kids in cages, right? Right, right. But for me, I did so much to help so many mm -hmm. and lost fucking everything. You know, now, now let me ask you this. If you put out good, did good come back to you? Not on that. Okay. But now, yes. 
Okay, okay. You so it took I mean? a little so, time. So, so I believe, like my heart, my heart wanted that. Right. My heart wanted to help those kids because I know what it means to grow up in ice boxes. I grew up in the system my whole life. Okay. You know, they throw you in the box. You went to Camp Challenger. You went to Camp Mons. You went to the LP, Central, Silmar. I've been there, done that. I've yeah. been there. So I know what it means to grow up in ice boxes and be in your boxers and not have a fucking sheet or a right. blanket because you got in a fight and they're mad because they had to use their pepper spray. So I know what it means to try to sleep under the mattress. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. So I, I know what it means. And I could not stop to imagine that these children need us. The thing is that what really turned me on was um, two years after Trump became president, I don't know if you remember when they closed the uh, border uh -huh. on the other side of the, I think it was 2018 of Yes, November. I remember. I was there, yo. I was fucking there. I went to go take the kids' clothes. And okay. when we were coming out, when we were- when did, we, they, did they accept it? So, no, uh, uh, no, they didn't let the clothes come in. They, they, they said, nah, get these fucking clothes out of here. You, you'd be surprised that the Mexicans spoke more worse about these children than the white supremacists. These are these fucking roaches. We don't want fucking nothing for these. No queremos nada aquí para los cacaroches and las cucarachas and this and that. Like, you know, like they spoke right. very ill uh, of these, of our people. Wow. And, and, and I've never seen, they, this was more racism than I've ever witnessed from, our, from any other race against our own. You know what I mean? What, 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 what do you think? I know you can't. You can't answer it for the for them, but if you had to think, why do you think they had so much hate for their own? So a lot of these people that were coming, Guatemalans and Hondurians, right. they're indigenous, right? Uh -huh. They're more native, more indigenous, indígena, mm -hmm. and and the Mexicans hate well these Mexicans like the more uh, uh, the more uh, uh, how how would you say uh, I guess the uh, uh, when your your state. You know, right, right. You, you know, Mexico, the of state. You know, right, they, like capital. You talking about? Yeah, they don't under, they don't, they don't, they don't, they. That's trash to them. That's low. Okay. You know, a native. You know, like even my grandma, right? She she won't identify as a native or indigenous, even though we are, right? Because to them, it's beneath them because they're the servants, they're the uh, lesser people, as to the people who are educated and have jobs and you know what I mean. Of course. So like yeah. you have our rich brown people here that won't identify with us. Oh, the gangsters, fucking stupid people, trash. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and then you have the college educated ones that are, I'm so sophisticated and smart. So you know what I mean? But we're the same fucking people. Yes, yes, but yes. But because we come from different classes. Right. We're, we're, we're beneath each other. Right. You know, so it's like the same thing over there, you know? Yes. So when I'm seeing them, I'm running through the Rio Grande River. I don't know if you see it. Remember when the military was shooting tear gas and pepper sprays with yes. the other people and the children? Yes. I was there getting tear gas and pepper sprayed by the military, running with two kids in my arms, watching people get hit with canisters and roll down the Rio Grande River. You know, people just falling down, fucking laying on the bottom of the fucking trenches. You know? Wow. So, so if you ask me, if you want to know the truth of why I involved myself in those marches... It was because to this day I still hear the kids screaming. Okay, okay. Now you know what? Um, we didn't get a chance to put your Instagram on there, but uh, make sure you give my boy your Instagram so we can put it on the description in case anybody wants to know possibly a little bit more yes. how they can, they can get involved. Maybe we can just point them in the right direction. So we'll put it on the description of the video. Well, once it's up, it'll be up like right after. But I know he could put it on during one of the breaks, and uh, that way people can uh, DM you or whatever. Right. You know. Thank you. So now let's talk a little bit about uh, this show, this concert you put it together. Uh, I like to call it concert. Some people say shows, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, where is it going to be at? So it's going to be in the city of Pomona. Okay, city it's going to be in the city of Pomona, uh, and this is this is like something. So. A new activism, right, is not forever, at least not for me. Like I said, that was my heart. I right. wanted that. But creator said no. <laughs> okay. This is what you have to do. It's okay. what I feel, right? I've always felt calling to be my music. You know, mm -hmm. my music, always my calling. Okay. So that, so I say, you know what? This is my second annual. So this is the second annual Beautiful Brown Women event. So it's Beautiful Brown Women event. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see right here, we have a special guest, DJ Lala. Okay. So she's going to be the actual special guest from 9 to 12, uh, running the turntables for all the women that are performing, which would be headlining Bella the Rapper, uh, Shelly V. Uh, Speak a little bit closer, brother. Uh, uh, which would be he headlining, you know, so DJ Lala's going to be on the turntables. Mm -hmm. 
uh, which is going to be headlining Bella the Rapper, Shelly V, Pink Bands, Monse, uh, uh, so many artists, Kashmir. Kash- oh, you know Kashmir. You've interviewed Kashmir. Yeah, of Kashmir. course, of course. So I she's going to be there as well. The majority of everybody performing, I pretty much yeah, probably right? already interviewed. And as a matter of fact, it's up on the screen. We'll, but we'll also put it up on, on during the break so people can see it. Yeah. Uh, um, but it's in Pomona. And it's called, you said, uh, Beautiful Brown Women. So you guys can look it up. And also you guys can see it on his page once we put his Instagram on the description as yeah, well. It, it, the reason why it goes Bella's World also because, you know, Bella. Okay. And then also it's a beautiful, you know, like Bella. It stands for beautiful. Uh-huh. And it's a beautiful world of brown people coming together yeah. showing our um, entrepreneurship you know right and it's going to be a safe zone it's all ages we got security we got everything act up gone and is this <laughs> is this a um uh indoor outdoor event it's an indoor and outdoor so outdoor okay. would be more for the kids and stuff and then we have the indoor with the vips with the I artists will have their own lounge as well right but it'll be more indoor for the adults in there so you were telling me that the tickets were flying so how many more tickets are available still i say I, I could push 30 more. Okay. I, I, I could push 30 more tickets, and, and and I'm just leaving a couple slots at the door because people say that they're going to come at the door. But we have a cap, we have a capacity of uh, max 250. Okay. I, keep, I say 200, but it's because I'm leaving only 50 slots at the door. Right, so right. So we only have 30 more tickets for that. And then, like I said, once we hit capacity, That's it, That's it doesn't matter if you're in line, you can't come in. Okay, so right now he's pretty much letting you guys know. Now, where can people purchase these tickets? Now, once you once we put your Instagram up on the description, do they just DM you? Or is there a certain place, a That's website? It's a, it, so you can go to at United Brown Nation. At United Brown Nation, yeah. okay. Uh, UBN. And, and the link to the bio is right there. Okay, okay. And, and you can get them. They're 10 bucks, yo. Okay. $10. Damn, they, they, they spend more on gas these days, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, right? This be more on Starbucks. <laughs> so I, 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 want, I, want people, I, want, I really want people to understand that when we created, when I went, when I created UBN and decided to take it towards entertainment, it was because I'm looking at the solution now. The marches taught me the problem, but I'm the type of person that needs to find the solution. Okay. And the solution is to build economical power to show the world. Fuck. Fuck begging to be on anybody's table. I don't need to fucking talk to you. Why, why, I need, why I need to ask you to listen to me? I have my own talent. I have my own people. We have our own crap. We create and make, make our, own, our own fucking platform. We make our own fucking table. You say this, you say that. I don't give a fuck. I'm focused on me and mine. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what UBN is. Building a platform to make us move ahead forward. Awesome. You know, we work with everybody. We work with everybody, but we ain't going to go beg you. You can come to us. That's yeah. the thing. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And we have to take the blueprints of what, the, what, 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 what our black brothers and sisters did when they weren't allowed to perform with white peoples. They went and created Motown. Then next thing you know, everybody's banging on their fucking door. Right. So when people are like, oh, they don't let us in the music industry. Dig. Because they went and earned their fucking respect. They didn't go beg motherfuckers to be a part of them. Get the fuck up and earn your respect. Fuck what they're doing. Right, right. Do us. Don't wait on nobody to come. Nobody's coming. You know what I mean? This is, that's what it is, you know? You do us, yo. We got people being pioneers right now right. that are doing for us. You got George Lopez building and buying and making tacos and, and beer and, and fucking, he's building, bro. Right, he's right, He's doing, right. you know, you got Jay Cruz and Power World 06 doing what he's doing. DJ Lala doing what she's doing. Ceci the Mamacita doing what she's doing. Letty doing what she's doing. We got so many people every fucking where. Right, Who's right. not hearing us. Right. We're just not coming together to build and do. We got you. We got so many other people. Who, who, who's not hearing us? <laughs> well, you, well, you know what it is? One thing that I've learned from podcasting and I was sharing before we went live is that when I interviewed a lot, and I'm, well, let me say this. If, I, if I've had 269 interviews, okay, and I just, let's just say they were all males, I would probably say maybe about 10% of them all want to be number one. Mm. Like they don't want to work with anyone else. It's just all about them. You know, and like, in other words, I'm the best, you know, number one, I've never been the best producer. I've never been the best DJ. I've been good at it. I'm not the best podcaster. I've been good at it, 
But you know what? I always feel like other podcasts where we can all coexist and build each other up. I don't necessarily have to say I have to be number one. I will never say it. The public should say it. You know what I'm saying? The people pick. Let the people pick. You know, but that was the that was one thing that I can say that I've had. If I had a bone to pick with a lot of Chicano rappers, is that many of them, not all of them, but many of them, wanted to be number one, and their attitude was fuck everybody else. So, uh, the problems within ourselves, bro. Yeah, that's what I say. Even with the Tiger situation, right? When I heard whatever, hey, hey, I mean, I voiced my opinion. Right. Fuck, dude, for doing what he did, you know. Right. He, he, he. Uh, oh, I didn't know. How many knew? How many knew? What the fuck? You know what I mean? That's like, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. My girl cheated on me. She says, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? See, guys, she said, I'm sorry. You know, like, yeah. come on, bro. I'm sorry. She that fool, made, that fool made a fucking killing, bro. He made a killing off that motherfucking shit. I'm, I'm sorry. Ching, 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 ching. You know, I'm sorry, motherfucker. Put money back. The money that you made from there, put some of that money into brown communities then. Right. If you're sorry. Take some of that money and put it into brown communities. Help brown organizations. If you're sorry. Right. I'm sorry, though. That, that's, come on, bro. Women, women, cheating women and cheating men tell their spouses, I'm sorry, and turn around and do it again. Come on, man. The devil made me do it. She gave it to me. So, all good, brother. All good. Listen, we come to the end of this. So... Saturday, this Saturday. Yeah. What time does it start? What time does it close? It starts at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. I want to let everybody know, yo. Okay. You're welcome. Everybody know. 5 p.m. We're going to put the flyer up once again, then we're going to put it on the break. Ladies, take the stage at 9. Okay, ladies, take the stage at All right, good. You don't want to miss that. And Bella's headlining. Bella's so once headlining. again, uh, much love, much respect to Erica B&B Entertainment uh, for hooking this up. Oh, yeah. And uh, once again, Thank you. Jonah from, for, uh, from UNB. No, okay. UBN. How did, how did I read that wrong? <laughs> you from UBN, UBN United Brown Nation. UNB, huh? Yeah. Okay. It's a United Brown Nation, right? So that's what we said with the, the phrase. The phrase is, it's only Mandel that we continue moving forward right, as right. a United Brown Nation, building together, building for us. Well, thank you for helping me with that. Sorry for butchering your name. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. At least tell us about your artist uh, really quick about. Uh, Shall come real quick? It's, it's not Mando, it's Mando. 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 My art. So, this, yeah. so this is Shelly right here, right? Uh, I, I've been have the honor of uh, been working with her and helping her and building her. Let them know about your uh, music video that just dropped. Um, my music video, Say Some, it just dropped today. Go on YouTube. My uh, at name on Instagram is at Shelly V Official. If you want to click the link on my bio, uh, that is probably you know like my proudest work of art lately. So if you guys have some time, check it out. You'll love it. Awesome. If you want to get more Shelly? Hit up United Brown Nation DM. All right, Alex, let's go ahead and take a five-minute break. We're going to come with Johnny D, and then I'm going to call Gil from American Cholo because he just finished talking to Tiger, and we're going to see what uh, Tiger had to say. Take a Tiger.
Welcome back, everyone, to Calls with the Wizard. And uh, you know what? Um, I, I had to uh, show love to uh, Jonah from uh, United Brown Nation because they're putting that show together for the beautiful brown women. Hopefully, I didn't butcher none of that. But this Saturday, he said there's about 30 tickets left, so make sure you guys hit him up. We'll put his Instagram. It's United Brown Nation on Instagram. We'll put it on the description. So if you guys want to hit him up, you guys can go get those tickets. So uh, other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it with my boy from the neighborhood, Johnny Dean, the place to be from the original group, Spanish Fly. Yeah. How you doing, my brother? You good, my boy. I'm good, man. Really quick, before we make that phone call, I want to ask you, what is it that you're drinking over there? We're drinking some whiskey. We're drinking Pendleton. I like Pendleton. A nice little, uh, what is it, like a little va- like a little vas? Okay. A girl, like, you know, her nice little cup. We're you, drinking it. That's what we're sipping on today. You know what? Where I, where I first tried that at, I think it was in Portland because it's, it's originally from out there. Yeah. That's where it's from, and I like that. It's a beautiful, but, but, beautiful but, whiskey. But whiskey, fuck, bro. Whiskey's beautiful, bro. Well, yeah, but fuck, like, <laughs> it don't have me confess shit that I never did. So uh, you did, but in, you know, you just it's in a past life. Thoughts. In a past you, you life, you just put it to your, to the left side of your brain. You yes, know? yes. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and put the headphones on, and I'm it. gonna make a phone call before we actually open up the lines. Okay, so Let's we're gonna it. make a phone call, and because we're gonna get to the bottom of this. So, I got the volumes up. Let me go ahead and call. Let's get it. Let's go, go, get it, get it. So, hopefully, oh, shit, I can't. Hold on. Let me take this off because I haven't connected to the roadcaster. Okay, bam. That should be good right there. Done. Did you see it connect, Alex? No. Okay, here we go. Make sure you fix his volume. There you go. Sorry, you have reached a number that is disconnected or no longer in service. <laughs> I like that, bro. Como estas, Gil? Hey, good, Tony. How you doing? Johnny D, how's it going, my man? Brother, what's going on? Oh, man, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, we're just sitting right here. He's sipping on whiskey, and I'm sipping on uh, um, Modelo tequila. Negra and with a little bit of tequila. That's right. Pero, you know what? No. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, hey, Johnny, check uh, check Tony A if he's got a gun license, homie, because he brought his two cuetes today, man. He's got the guns out. He got, oh, he got the gun out, huh? Yeah. yeah. Man, <laughs> fucking, let me get this shit done. If, 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 if you guys need tickets, <laughs> let me know. So, but, to the gun show. Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, uh, Gil, well, listen, I, I think it kind of all hit us like, wow, it really happened. Because I know you, right. you had been speaking up for Rasa for, I, you know, to say a minute, it's, it's an understatement, but for a while now. <laughs> And right. uh, your name you, you actually appeared on Rolling Stone magazine. Yes, uh, sir. Um, uh, um, possibly amongst others that I, I may be not aware of. But last night, if I'm correct, you met with Tyga at Power 106. Is, is that correct? That is correct, Tony. Yes, sir. Uh, um, if you don't mind me asking, before you fill us in on what the nature of that conversation was about, uh, uh, how did that come about? Like, like, how did you get connected with meeting him at Power 106? Well, it's kind of like, uh, man, like God works in mysterious ways, Tony. Um, somebody in his, uh, in like not in his circle, but kind of that, you know, is around him every once in a while and actually follows my channel. And uh, he contacted me and was kind of getting a feel for, you know, how I felt about it. And then also um, the ones who actually made the thing happen was also a uh, shout out to uh, Tio Hutana. Yes. And also, and also Lulu, homeboy. Lulu mm-hmm. was the other one that was. That was, that was also the catalyst. Uh, um, what happened was they called me last week and they said that, um, hey, would you be interested in having a sit down with Tiger? And I said, absolutely. And they were still trying to get a feel because they weren't sure. They were scared. They thought it was going to be something that was going to be like negative because, you know, they had never heard my name and they hear American Cholo and they hear me speak. And if you've never really heard in the podcast, you can maybe feel like a certain way. This guy's getting aggressive or something. So, you know, he's a big, he's a big star and they didn't want any drama and they didn't want any kind of, you know, brown or black type of issue. So I spoke to them for about, I don't know, 30 minutes, man. And they got a feel for it. And they were like, okay, let's see, let's see what happens, you know? And for a minute he was going to come in the studio here, but then they felt much safer at power one of six. And I believe for a second they were going to do it where, uh, where it was, gonna, it was just going to be the, one of the DJs at power one of six. Oh, and, man. uh, the guys told them that that's not going to work. It's going to just look like more entertainment stuff. And uh, 
uh, to Tiger's credit, he was also interested in doing it with me. And at the end, he kind of, you know, said, no, if I got to do it with anybody, I got to do it with this guy, American Troll. And that's exactly what he did. That's awesome. Nice. That's awesome. Now, uh, um, around what time did you guys meet? You guys met at night, if I'm correct? What, about 8 or 9, 10 o'clock? Yeah. Well, before we get to that part, Tony, I want to emphasize this thing, man. This is not a win for our team, American Troll. This is a win for all of us. Absolutely. This is a win for every still brown man and woman that sat there and helped push the issue, helped push the message. And that's what I've been, like you said, I've been doing this for years. I've been chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, hoping eventually that the Rasa will get to get uh, the idea of what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to show them that the power and numbers that we have when we come together on any issue, this is just, this is just a, a music disrespect issue, but some people will be, you know, what's the big deal? We got other issues. Of course we have other issues, but we're not dealing with those issues. We're dealing with this right now. And we are showing everybody else, listen, guys, if we get behind a certain issue, look at the power that we have, that we in two weeks had some guy that before that could care less. Somebody. You know, he's doing his own thing. They live in a different they live in a different hemisphere than us. Yes. But we made so much noise on here collectively as Rasa that they had no choice but to come to the table. And that is a win for all of us. And that is a beautiful thing for all of us, Tony. Absolutely. Definitely, that's definitely, definitely. That's awesome. You know what? And it's just one big step forward. You know, whether people right. want to agree with it or not, this is one big step forward. So for sure. you guys met last night. Uh, and how long around did this meeting last for? Well, I got a phone call like uh, or a text probably like around, um, I don't know, six o'clock at night or something. Uh-huh. And they said, uh, would it be, would it, they just said, hey, we know it's short notice, but um would you be willing to come to Power 106? I said, absolutely. You know, it's down the street from my house. It's not that far. And uh, I went over there. I waited for I waited for a while, brother. It, was, it wasn't that, that short of a wait. But it was actually good because I got to chop it up real quick, with, uh, real good with uh, uh, DJ Sour Milk, with, uh, with Lulu, and, uh, and, and the other DJ. I can't remember his name. And it was, we, just, we were talking about the industry. It was almost like a beautiful podcast, brother. And we chopped it up for a good hour and a half. And these guys were like, wow, really? Like, they didn't know a lot of the stuff that's going on in our community, even though, uh, what's the name is Rasta, but they just didn't know what's going on, in, like in the hood, let's say, right? And yeah. and that came out of great conversation. And, and then finally, uh, and then, and, uh, finally, about an hour and a half after waiting, you know, uh, they get the call. Okay, Tiger's coming up. Hmm. You know, you know, it's funny, Gil, that that was one of me, going to be one of my questions. Did he show up on time? Because b- believe <laughs> absolutely me, not. Believe me, absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. He was. He was. From what I heard later on, he was actually in the studio, and he was in the studio all night. But he was in the studio, not know where He said, "All right, I'll be back." And uh, you know, it, that, that's that's um, that's any business, especially if you're if you're the B side, let's say, of the fight, right? He's yeah. the A fight, and if if I was a if I was a knucklehead or approach this in a different way. If I sat there, and that's what happens a lot of time with homies in the industry, in the rap industry, they think they're too gangster to wait in line, or they think they're too gangster to to do certain things to be disciplined. But I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I'd be a fucking fool right now to leave, right. have this opportunity to get this off my chest for not just myself, but everybody else, because, oh, I ain't waiting for that. Vato. So yeah, I waited for a good hour and a half, and I'll wait an hour and a half again, homeboy, to get our message across. Absolutely. So, so he walks in, he sits down, uh, you guys shake hands. Uh, you know, what, what was that room like when he walks in? You know what? At, I think at first uh, they were a little, a little like standoffish because they really, they didn't know me. They only knew whatever they probably seen on, you know, on YouTube and on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times I'm very straightforward. So right. uh, when people first meet me and they hear me talk, sometimes I turn them off because they, yeah, this guy is like too straightforward. But as soon as I, I saw the publicist, I shook her hand and I assured her, I said, listen, man, I'm not here for a fight. I'm here for a conversation. I'm not here to attack Tiger. I'm here to just let him know how we feel. You saw her demeanor change completely. She kind of like, oh, like real, she came cool real quick. I seen Tiger, I seen him with a, with a big old goon, homeboy. I told him, what's up, man? You brought muscle or what? He kind of laughed and his security guard looked at me kind of funny. And then um, we shook hands. We, we hugged real quick. You know, like, oh, Pat, I said, all right, brother, listen, man, I thought love was getting here. Let's, let's chop it up. And uh, that's exactly what we did. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, now you guys sit down. Uh, so obviously you went ahead and opened it up and began to share pretty much what was going on, what Rasa felt when we saw that video. Uh, can you kind of give us the nature of the conversation that how you opened up and after what were his, his remarks? Yeah, it was, you know, uh, 
sour milk started off, and I said, you know, I'm just going to hand it off to you, Gus. And all right, let's do this. And I and, and I and I expressed to him, I expressed to him our distaste for the video. I said, where I stand from, where I'm sitting from, Tiger, I see a greasy, fat Mexican in a dirty ass room eating tortilla chips. Then the scene goes outside, and then all of a sudden you got watermelons falling from the. I mean, it, you had tortillas falling from the sky, and then you have the girl, you know, with the Tabasco sauce. And I said. What if that was, you know, fried chicken in a dirty ass room, some greasy black guy. He goes outside. You got watermelons falling down. It's like I, I told him, you know, I don't believe for one second, Tiger, that, that you're racist. I don't believe that uh, that you're just doing this maliciously. I said, but you got to put yourself in our shoes. But I do believe that to some kind of point, you guys did this knowing you were going to get a little backlash. But you guys figured it was just going to be a little bit of, you know, talking. They're going to be quiet. You're going to get the views you wanted. And everything's going to work out okay. But that didn't happen because we actually finally spoke up and now we're here. Wow. Wow. And, and when you addressed him like this, uh, what, what was his reaction? Like, what, what did he say? No, he was just a man. The guy came in very mellow, very humble. And he was just, you know, he said, uh, you know, I, I never meant it to be disrespectful. That he's like, uh, you know, he likes doing fun comedy stuff. And that, you know, he one of the parodies was, was um uh, uh, what, what is that? Uh, remember that that movie with uh, Eddie Murphy, and he was uh, with Nutty the clumps and all that. Yeah. The professor, there. Thank you. Yeah. The Nutty Professor, right? He said one was a Nutty Professor. One was, you know, he started going through all the stuff, and I said, I understand, but I said, but when you put it all together and you look at this thing, you got low riders, it's caramba, it's brother. I said, I'm telling you, it's offensive, and like I said, I don't believe that you're that you're doing it intentionally, but you guys are completely tone deaf. I said, it's it's an issue that you have almost like at home. You, it's like, imagine somebody like us Latinos making a boys from the hood, making a movie about African American gang members. And it's me and some white boy doing the movie. And we get no kind of, no kind of, uh, feedback from the African American community, how that, how that lifestyle works. You think that movie is really going to work out good? I said, but you guys did it in a video where you thought it was funny. You put, you know, you put mariachi suits on. Those are, those are very near and dear to us. That, 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 that represents family. That re represents struggle. That represents a lot of history, right? And I said, and when you guys put that stuff on, Taiga, you know, it sends a message, my man. But I think that you guys are just so up there in the in the in the plat in the platforms that you don't see down here. Like I said, those guys, you know, they make so much money. Yeah. They don't have they have many yes men. You know, if they don't live in the regular world, and I understand that. But I think for once, especially in the industry, they're listening to us, brother. And this is something that we can catapult to continue to use our voices, to continue to push to get stuff on the radio, to get stuff on movies. We can use this, the same energy we're using for this, if we use it towards the movie industry, brother, we can do the same exact thing. Awesome. You, you know what's funny? Uh, somebody left a comment. I'm not sure if it was on the live chat last week or on one of my podcast comments. He said, right. you know what, I'm, I'm happy, and I'm paraphrasing pretty much what he said. He said, I'm happy for our people, bit, but it's not the rappers that are making noise and standing up for it, it's just the podcasters. Real shit, <laughs> and, and I believe that's, that that to be true. I, well, it, it, it it is, but this is also the thing, Tony. Some rappers are are making noise that say right, but the industry, um, regular America, is not going to listen to some guy smoking weed, drinking beers, talking all kind of shit, and then try to say, "Hey, this is about it," because they they're looking they're looking at, at you as a thug, right? And if the same, the same thing, if I would have came out and just said, you know what, F this guy, I'm going to fuck him up. Even though I did say some shit like, no, fuck it. I was upset, right? Yes. But if you if you just come out and just attack, 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 the message gets lost. Because some people were like, Yo, you were talking shit about him, now you're over there? Yeah, that's what grown men do, homeboy. Yeah. Little kids little kids will sit there and fight for that fucking, for that canica for the rest of their lives. I'm, you want to play canicas? You want to play fucking marbles, homeboy? Play marbles. We're trying to play on the big stage. And on the big stage, you negotiate. On the big stage, you speak to one another. On the big stage, as men, you come to terms. You make peace. You don't sit there and fight forever. That's what little boys do. Right. Gil. Cool. Yes, what, sir. What about, the, what about the director? Who was the, who was the one? The, who, was, who was the person behind the visual, basically? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now. Actually, let me see. I'll tell you right now. And that's the next guy up the ladder if... Uh, if um if he doesn't hold on i'll tell you right now brother it's a widow right he's a white guy yeah he's yeah. a he's a he's a he's a white guy named colin tiley yes yeah, he's, he's an he's an american filmmaker so 
you know, these guys were probably in a room, you know, and, and they were shooting all kind of ideas a- across. And, and it's been mocked so many times that they, they think it's okay. And yeah. that, and I and I, I expressed that to them as well. I said, listen, Tiger, you guys did the Que Loco. And the Que Loco, I wasn't, it wasn't that disrespectful. It was just wearing that mariachi suit that you guys do. That's the main thing, dude. And you guys, and, we're, and we actually made some noise. But again, you guys didn't hear us. The Carne Asada one. We made some noise because I see people in the comments saying, well, why didn't you make the... And so we did. You guys just weren't listening, right? And uh, then I told him, so, so, so this is the third time, at least. I know there's others. So to me, like I said, Tiger, it feels like you guys are doing this intentionally to get a little controversy. And then after that, you know it's going to go away. You're going to make your money and screw us. But this time, no. We're, I told him, we're, the sleeping giant is finally waking up. Yes. And the sleeping giant says, we don't like this. This is disrespectful. We want the same respect that is, that is uh, commanded from us. Other people, whether it's African-Americans, whether it's Guedos, whether it's LGBTQ, everybody's talking about being inclusiveness. Everybody's talking about equal rights. Well, you guys made the rules, so we're making you follow the same rules you're making us follow. And that's how the game's being played. Awesome. Awesome. Anything else, Johnny, you want to? No, I was just saying, like, um, like this song is, like, super disrespectful. I don't think the, the Go Local song wasn't as, but what it no, did was it created... It created everybody else to you to just basically go off that, yeah. you know. There's a couple yeah. other songs. There's another song that it wasn't as popular. I forgot what it was. It was some. Well, Carne he, Asada. No, Carne. There was another one before that too. Oh, was that, some some Long Beach rapper and, and another and the same guy that was in Carne Asada. Oh, okay, okay. But but it didn't it didn't go that big. But Carne right. Asada was disrespectful as shit, bro. And then on top of that, he had he he brought like the some other 100k and. Some other people in the video and right. it seemed like it was okay, right. but the just the lyrics and everything was highly disrespectful. And on that, for sure, on every issue I pressed, you know what I'm saying. And and um, I'm not I'm not no big um big superstar or nothing like that, but I addressed every issue. And then on top of that, you know, it's a circle of people that we we're gonna see eventually, so it would be addressed in person too. So I'm just um I'm one of those man too that I'm all for it. I'm all for. Uh, for helping but, any any anything like this with street vendors and all this shit. So I'm just making for sure. sure like I'm, that I'm 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 hundred hundred percent behind it. So what you did was amazing. Yeah, you no, know what I'm saying. Well, go, go I didn't get to do my diss song though. Go ahead, Gil. Go no, ahead. listen, but <laughs> listen, man. It, 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 it was every it, we were like an army of ants, oh boy. By itself, we're not gonna do much. Together, that's how we kind of got this ball rolling, and it kind of took a life of its own, right? But that was every single person was sharing, was tagging, was looking at it. There was some naysayers that were saying. Why are you crying? Even Chingo Bling, shout out to Chingo Bling. <laughs> Even though he, he was talking shit. Oh, wh- why are you guys crying? What are you going to do? And I hit up Chingo yesterday. I said, Chingo, before I went to the Power 106, I said, I'm at the Power 106 right now, Chingo, to have that conversation with uh, with uh, Tiger. Don't go against us. If This is what I say to people. Hopefully people are listening, right? If you do not un- believe that it was re- disrespectful, if it was bad, that's fine. But don't push back against us, homie. Because right. us as a community, we spoken and we are offended. You are the minority in this, and for you to sit there and push back on us because you're offended that we're offended, that's chicken shit, homie. And that's the same shit too many brown people keep doing. They keep finding a reason to get more pissed off at us. And the thing is, we're not looking to cancel Tiger. I'm not looking to get Tiger beat up, especially if it, he came and spoke. I was, but not no more. Oh, I, yeah, I get it. Exactly. <laughs> Tiger, okay. Tiger had the balls, had the, the to come, yeah, have yeah. that sit down and speak with us. We got to give him a lot of props for that off yeah. the bat, right? We can't just sit there and say, but at the same time, and I made this very clear to Tiger. I said, Tiger, this was the very end of the podcast or the, or the conversation, right? I said, I do believe you, brother. I do feel that you're sincere. But I'm going to tell you something. In order for us as a community to feel that you are sincere, we ask that you take the video down. Because if you don't take the video down, and all that means is this is a hollow apology. You're saying I'm sorry, but your video is still up there. Your video got the views that you wanted because you got the controversy that you wanted, and you're getting the money out of it that you wanted. So for, in order for us to completely believe you, please take that video down. I said you can talk to your team, discuss it. And, you know, he said that um, he's going to really discuss it. To me, I feel like he was leading towards yes. He was just like, hey, but I ain't taking the court, the que loco one. Now I got platinum. I said, we start laughing. I'm like, no, nah, brother, I don't expect, we're not going to sit here, take this down, take this down. But if Tiger, listen, this is the, this is the message I want to push to everybody and every platform sticking there. 
if Tiger takes that video down, Tiger's invited to the carne asada, homie, because he's done something that no other black man, as far as the industry, has really done is what? Reach out to us, actually acknowledge us, and actually gave us what we want, which is the respect to take that video down and apologize. Right, right. Awesome. You know what? No, no, no let me say this, because uh, you posted up a vid little video clip where he had apologized, and, and I guess you pretty much answered my question was, do you believe he'll be, he was being sincere? But you said, you know what, it'll be a hollow apology if that video doesn't come down. So I guess only time will tell if eventually he takes it down. Yes. Okay. And, yes. But and, but that but that's the that's the beautiful part. It's going to be very easy. There's not going to be an argument if he's sincere or not. If the video doesn't go down, it's not a real apology. It's just an industry apology. If the if right. the video goes down, it is a sincere apology. Whether he was like kind of cornered into whatever. At the end of the day, as men, as brown men and women, if he takes that video down, homie, we got to give the guy his due because why? Because that'll send a great message to the African-American community, to the to the rap industry, to the music industry. Look, if you help Rasa out, we'll show you that love. And we should make Tiger invited to all the carne asada that happens, homeboy. But if it doesn't happen, then we'll start ha talking about other stuff. Oh, good. You know what? I have two more questions before I let you go, Dude. Gil. Uh, Duno. I think that's his name. Do yeah. Duno. The, what's going on with that guy? Uh, were you ever in talks with him? Or did you ever get to sit down and talk with him? I'm sure Tiger did. He's the one that did the song. And then this other guy, <laughs> the way he responded to it, I know you called him out on it. You had mentioned uh, that you had he had reached out or you guys talked. Uh, can you kind of fill us in or give us a quick update on that? Yeah, for sure. Do you know, um, I reached after I made that video. And that video I made because I was coming home and I saw a couple of people shooting on my Instagram. That's usually how, how I do my stuff. And and I wasn't even going to make a video on Duno, brother. I really wasn't. But then I started thinking, I was like, oh, fuck this. I mean, no, this is why I built this platform. This would just yeah, piss yeah. me off. He sat there. He sat there and pushed back on us. That's what I was speaking about earlier. He sat there and made this shit about us and deflected instead of just staying quiet. If you're not going to like what, just stay quiet, but don't fight against us. So that's why when I made that, that video, the next day, Tony, I hit up Duno, homeboy. I hit him up on my Instagram and I told him, hey, Duno, I, I didn't come at you disrespectful. I never met that, right? I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. And then we started going back and forth on Instagram. He's like, yeah, man, but I wish you would have really hit me up. I said, let me tell you something, Duno. I've hit guys up two years later. They're barely hitting me up because of this controversy right now. So I know for a fact you wouldn't have hit me back up. That's just how it works. And people don't know the numbers. They look at the numbers, homo. They really do. And if the numbers ain't jiving, they're not answering. Right. And that's just, that's just how it works. And that's when I tell people I'm pushing for these numbers. Why? Because I know with these numbers, I could make noise and start doing it. But, you know, this thing kind of just got a life of its own after, after Duno. And then, um, we actually had a conversation on the phone mm -hmm. and, uh, it, it, it was the same thing, you know, and I, and I told him that, and, you know, I said, Duno, if it wasn't disrespectful, I get it to you, homie, but I, this is what I, what I try to explain to him. I said, listen, man, it's like you and your boys are real good friends. You and your boy, maybe do racial jokes and all that. Maybe mama jokes and say, you know, your mama's a bitch, your mama's this, you know, but between you and your boy, right? But it's like my mama walked in the room and you're calling my mama a bitch. And you think it's okay because you and I are boys. And that's kind of what's going on with the industry because you guys are so good with them. As far as younger people, we don't see color. We don't see that. That's all good and gravy, homie. But then when he's doing stuff like that, he's mocking your grandfather. He's mocking your father. He's mocking. He's putting stuff on that you shouldn't because you guys think it's a, it's a, it's a generational thing. Respect has nothing to do with generational things. Whether I call you a bitch at 18 or call you a bitch at 48, I'm still calling you a bitch. Yeah. And that's what these and that's what these young guys need to understand. And ain't no gangster shit. No, if it was gangster, I'm talking all kind of stupid. Shit. No, it's some grown man stuff, and we're trying to learn from one another, and we're trying to let you guys know, do know this thing cool. That way they will hear it. But with Tiger answering us, Tony, that thing, that, that 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 blasted across the internet. That blasted. Everybody saw it. Everybody seen it. Duno saw it. All these young guys have seen it. And hopefully everybody learns from it. Because another great thing, and I told Tiger the same thing that came out of it, is we're having that conversation finally. I mean, we've been having it on the platform over here, but people weren't really listening. But now we're actually having this conversation, but we need to have it in a constructive manner, not in a disrespectful thing. Because once we start disrespecting each other, the communication lines close. But as long as we keep it respectful, they will look at us. They all right. We can talk to those guys, and that's what we need to do. Awesome, awesome. Is, is did Duno ever um, give you the okay or whatever to like uh, sit down with you and talk with you on your podcast? 
I, I got his number, his cell phone number. He said he would come in, in a couple of weeks. And to be completely honest with you, I, it's just been so busy these last couple of days, Tony, yeah. Yeah. that I'm 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 not I'm not like pushing to oh we gotta get Duno on here, do it. No, right. Duno's a young guy, he's doing his thing. The Brown podcast they're doing their thing. That's another thing I wanted to also say. We're not trying to cancel the homies. We're not trying to disrespect. We're not trying to hate. Just you know what? We gotta keep it in the lines, man. Disrespect is disrespect and and, and it's all fun and games, you know, until they're talking about your grandma. They're talking about your kids, man, because kids watch this stuff, man. They're, they're influenced. That's what influences everybody. You think you're wearing those Jordans because uh, because you just like them? No, you're wearing them because somebody influenced you to wear them. You're wearing that Gucci because somebody influenced you to wear them. Well, if somebody influenced you to look at look at us like a bunch of lazy-ass tortilla-eating motherfuckers, then that's what we're going to be to kids, and we're not that. We're much more than that, and that's what we got to push. Yeah, yeah. Um, last question now. Um, there was a barber, if I'm correct, and I, I barely know a little bit about it, only what uh, Tito the Hood Santa posted up and you yourself. There was a barber. Right. I, I think he's a Latino. I don't know if, no sé si es cubano or whatever. But I he, think he's Puerto Rican. Okay, then he came out and, I guess, dumped the lady's uh, fruit over in front of his barber. And then he made a video, and I saw you post it. I only caught a little bit of him trying to explain uh, what, what was the whole deal with that. And it, is that over with or? Yeah, you know what? That's pretty much over with. It fills up pretty quick. I posted because I woke up in the morning. I saw a lot of big platforms posting it, this and that. So I'll be honest with you. I didn't do my due diligence, man. Okay. And, and about an hour, after, an hour after I posted on my, on my Instagram, I saw him make a video. And he started explaining, you know, what went down. And, and I was like, well, you know what? This is not that situation that usually happens. So I took the original video of him throwing the the, the fruit out. Oh, not he, but see, there was no video of him throwing the fruit out. They just showed the cart falling down, right? Yeah. And that's what he said. He's like, "There's no video of me throwing." The, I didn't do it, dude. And he, he broke it down. He had another lady who worked that corner and spoke with her, and she's like, "No, nah, dude, it didn't happen like that. It was something else." So I took that video down. I put I posted his a clip of him giving his explanation, and I said, "Listen, man, it looks like we jumped the gun, and I'll be the first to admit it. Here's his explanation. If you guys want to see more of it, go to his channel." Because also, I don't want to get into a place where we're just, you know, attacking everybody and everything. Because then what's gonna that's gonna do? It's gonna water down our uh, our fight when we go and sit there and say something. Because they're gonna be like, ah, it's those ways otra vez. No, we gotta keep it solid. We gotta keep it right. And, and that's what happened in that whole situation. Awesome, awesome. Uh, anything else, Johnny? Anything else you want to bring up? No, man. We spoke we spoke on every aspect of it. I'm like, <laughs> no, awesome, everything, yeah. everything's good, man. At you, first, I felt, my bad. At first, I felt, like, really, really disrespected with that. But right. after right. seeing how the outcome of everything is, is I, I feel way better about it. Okay, you know, j just in case somebody's wondering, like somebody's on the live chat or somebody's just at home watching, is there a video uh, um, that was, I guess, I would say video like a VHS, but did somebody record this where possibly it could be uploaded later on and, and be seen by the people? It's, it's. It was recorded. They had like they have a whole studio in in, uh, in Power One Hundred Six now. I mean, they got like a bunch of cameras. They're, I think they're doing a whole kind of video side of their of their platform, right? Okay. But yeah, there 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 was a video. They didn't want to do it live because they were somewhat afraid of what was going to happen. They didn't know, you know, who I was. They they weren't sure. So shout out to Power One Hundred Six for actually going out on a limb and and having it there. But once it's all said and done. Uh, I believe I've heard it might be released tomorrow. I'm not sure, but what it was is they wanted the video. They wanted to go through their executives. So their executives said, we're not releasing this until we actually watch it. So, so the big wigs in power one of six want to watch it and see what it is. And, um, I, I, I saw a small clip that Lulu put out, which was great, which showed that we were there. So hopefully now they will be more, uh, you know, proactive yeah. and, and getting the video out and as soon as the video comes out they they said they're going to send me uh they're going to send me a, uh, the whole video they email it to me and, and if they, I, I don't know but I think I'll post it on my YouTube channel as well and okay. then they're going to post it they're going to post it on their feed but yeah there's a complete video it's a complete audio it went on for about I don't know 15 20 minutes and now we spoke about was the issues that we're speaking about right now. Awesome, awesome. Anyways, other than that, Gil, I want to thank you, man. I greatly appreciate you. For uh, sure, Tony. Uh, you know, and like I said, anything you need from me, uh, I'm here for you, brother. So, you know what? Once again, stay blessed. Uh, um, and thank you for being a voice for all of us, you know? For sure, Tony. Th thank you. And, uh, and just like I said, tell everybody, you know what? Together, man, we can make some noise that we will not be ignored anymore, Rasa. This is how we do it. We come together as a collective voice for the Brown. Oh, boy. Thank you, guys. Have a great Let's night. Keep huh? doing it, man. Let's keep doing it. Thank you.
Yeah. Awesome. 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 Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and put the number up. Put the number up. And then, uh, if anybody wants to call in, maybe they have a question so for Johnny D and the place to be about okay. it. Maybe a Spanish fly record. Um, yes. you, you know, you, you want to ask them feature, what, you know, how much a feature, how shit, much security, so security, male exotic dance, whatever, whatever you want, man. <laughs> Fuck it. If you got a question for me about music or in case you want to tap in on, uh, um, on as far as, uh, you know, the tiger thing, that's fine. I just don't want to go on too, too long about it, but, um, uh, okay. Let's see. We got one call caller, your name and where you calling from? Mega man. Zombie. It had to be Mega Man. It had to be Mega Man. <laughs> it had to be. It had to be Mega Man. He's all there I, drinking a Red I got, Bull. I got a question a for Johnny D. I got a question for Johnny D. He's not hey, giving you the D. Have you ever met a cuck before? Yeah, you Have bro. you ever met a cuck before? <laughs> Say that a little you bit louder, boy. So fuck you're the certified, you're the general of the cucks. The cuck. Nah, nah, you're the nah, cucks nah, holding nah, the nah. cock. The Cuss Coalition. Hey, I'm not, no, no. Hey, hey, I'm not Hulk Hogan's uh, best friend. Oh, oh shit. shit. You're his uncle. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I just, I want to see, I just want to, uh, uh, just joking around, but uh, yeah, be, no. uh, seriously, uh, is there like any upcoming stuff that, you know, like your new album? What, we have like another release coming up for your single? We have a, we're working on making a video for our new single. We're going to be dropping the single pretty soon. The Spanish Fly album is, um, so it's, it's going to be pretty big until then. But regardless, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm dropping, I'm doing features. I've been doing a lot of features and um, I'm just working with a bunch of artists until we get that shit up and going, bro. Like my boy Daz's studio is probably like 90% right now. Yeah. Cause he bought a new crib. Mm -hmm. You got to rebuild so, it. And then we're going to be in that yeah. bitch, like just isolated, getting it cracking. That'll work. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, that's all I wanted to know. I just want to, because people are asking me, like, hey, when is uh, when is Johnny D going to put some new stuff out? So, hey, you heard it here first. I got a single out right now. Better Days, man. Check that shit out. Me and Better Quest days. Coast. Quest Coast? All right, Tony. Quest I'm Coast. out, guys. Okay. Okay. All right, bro. All right, Mega Man. Yeah, all right, the Coalition just called in, so <laughs> we want to give him props. <laughs> so, once again, be cucking. Okay, let's see. Who is this caller right here? Hello, caller. Where are you calling from and what's your name? <laughs> 52 times, Carson. Oh, shit. What's good, brother? What's your question, man? Oh, uh, man, question for you, Tony. Yes, sir. Hey, man, what's, what's up with the, the Brown Prank crew, man? What, what MC Pep, MC Tony, and you ever going to bust them on that word? You know what, what's man? That? Look, let me tell you something. A lot of people have been asking me that for a long time, and I would really love to get them on. But my thing is they don't live here, from what I've heard. They don't live here in the hood anymore. Yeah. So if I can get a hold of them or if you can possibly help me, I always, every time somebody asks me about them, uh, I always say, bro, if you can help me get a hold of them. One guy actually said that he got a hold of one guy, but he wasn't rapping no more. He wasn't doing no music and he really wasn't interested in the interview. Of course, I would love to get them on here and have them represent, you know, not only Wilmot, but the hardware area, you know, but uh, That's right. if there's any way, you know, anybody that may know them. Uh, so, so I, I'm saying this to everybody out there on the funky live chat and everybody out there. So, funky, yeah. So, so, so once again, you know, Brown Pride, if you know, anybody knows how to get a hold of them, please contact me, you know, via email, Rodian Radio. Uh, uh, DJ Quick is one of her, uh, for sure, for sure. Because I'm the Tony okay. A, man. Much gusto. Much love, brother. Much you too, gusto, brother. Okay, brother. Uh, brother. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't hear you, Alex. What was that now? I said, I heard there was a Mexican DJ Quick on that, on that Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh shit! Okay, Funky caller, Street, caller, huh? caller, where are you Funky calling from? Which, what's your name? Oh, this is me, Bot from Rosemead. I'm sorry, what was that? It's, it's, it's me, Bot from Rosemead. What's up, Tony? How you doing? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? You got a question, brother? I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, I do, man. Um, I, you know the question I have, and saludos to the camarada next to you, the Spencer. I didn't get his name, but um, Johnny D. I barely tuned in. All good. But, what? Johnny D. From Spanish Fly. Johnny D, the Spencer Johnny D, the Spencer on the Tita. Um, you know what I was gonna ask? What I was gonna ask was like, you know how many times, like how we were talking about like the Tiger and all that bullshit, like mm -hmm. how these other vatos threw all this shit, like how many more times are we gonna sit there and just be like, oh, well, let's talk it out, let's talk it out. Like these vatos are doing it left and right. Like I saw that shit with no jumper where that white vato was on there and he was like mocking us and making fun of the raza. And I'm like, wait a minute, Holmes like, who are these dudes to think they're catching going to be in California and homie ain't going to do nothing about that? Did, did you see that on No Jumper when they were talking shit about it? If, 
if that was the, the same one that I saw, I believe that Chicano Cat was on there. If, if that's the one. See one. Okay, but here's here's my thing. See one. If that guy is laughing with them, then they think it's okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, on yeah, top of right. that, on top of that, Tony, like okay, this this constantly has been addressed, but not really as addressed as it is now. Yes. We're more binding together now than we were before. So we're basically, I don't mm -hmm. want to say it in a negative way, but we're making. We're, we're making Tyga uh, like an example. Yeah. You get me? Because the other artists like Blueface and everybody else, they didn't, they didn't respond to it. They just did it and made it trend. So when they made it a trend, it was a disrespectful thing, and it opened the window for everybody else to be disrespectful. Yeah. So now that it's being addressed, I don't think they're, they're going to want to take it there. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand, like, Tyga has to address it because he has to come to L.A. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Team one. Yeah, you know, but let, let me. Okay, just... and then what, what, what about what, what about Adam Twenty Two being in Los Angeles and this Vato thinking he could just walk around and do that? Like, I think we gotta get this Vato like how they did with Tiger, right? Like what Gil did with Tiger, right? Yeah. American Controller did with Tiger. They got they gotta throw Adam Twenty Adam Twenty whatever his name is. They yeah. gotta throw him on the linea too and be like, hey, check it out, homes. Like, well, what's that shit about, homes? You know what? Like, uh, you, I mean... you disrespected us, man. You know, I, I, I agree, but I, li I also like the way Gil said it. We have to have a solid communication with these people because the, the reason why I say it that way, and when I say these people, I'm talking about the people that are disrespecting us, is because many of them think it's okay. Mm -hmm. and, and let me go back to uh, this this kid, uh, this uh, Duno, okay? Uh, I don't know the guy, never met the guy, but uh, somebody had said a joke, something about the wet back street boys, and they were all laughing. Yeah, yeah now, that, that, the comedian. Now, 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 let me tell you something. Rest in peace, my mother and my father. Look, my mother and my father were both immigrants, so they were really talking about them. You know, my mother and my father were wetbacks, okay? So when they say that, that's what they're disrespecting, okay? And he wants, to sit, he wants to sit there and laugh, and then he gets upset because he gets called out on it. You know, mm -hmm. if, if I'm on a show like that, and somebody says something like that about... Uh, Rasa in general, you know, or uh, the, the wet backstreet boy, and they all laugh. I'm gonna say something, bro. What, what, what the fuck you guys yeah, talking like, about? Cut that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah what, it's what not the fuck gonna, you yeah, talking yeah, about, you bro? Address yeah. that right away. You know, and since it's not addressed, that, 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 it, it lingers, bro. Yeah. Now we're talking about it. Now everybody's saying wet back jokes. Yeah, might as well. You know, it, it, it's cool. It, 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 this, it, you know what? Um, first and foremost, I, I, first of all, not first and foremost, but I always want to say you're doing a great job, Tony A. The homie with you, I think, is doing a great job, and we yes. talked about it. Um, you know what, man? That's what we got to do, man. We're going to hit these watches with full force. Hey, you're not, you're not fucking with the Rasa. No, you're not going to do it. Like how, how Kid Frost said, Holmes, you're not getting, I'm tired of the Vatos getting over on the Rasa, Holmes. That ain't going to happen no more, Holmes. Nah. Can't Absolutely, do that bro. Shit, man. And, and, and that, this is where it stops. Like, and we need, to, we need to talk about it, bro. Well, that's what it is. Oh. Being invested in everything that's going on, brother. And, and just when, when events mm -hmm. and everything come up, if everybody steps up and does their little bit of part, yeah. then, then it makes a difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It could be uh, All right, power man. in numbers. I'm going to tune out, man. This, so, this yeah. box from the Rosemead SUV, homie. Right. Good talking right. to you about those. All good, my brother. You All have right, a blessed night. Me. Me too. All right. Uh, callers, keep, keep coming in. Uh, somebody, uh, somebody. Okay, hold on. All right, let's go. Caller, where are you calling from and what's your name? Somebody on Hello? I could barely hear you, bro. I'm going to give you three seconds, uh, and then I got to let you go because a lot of people are calling, so it sounds like you're moaning back there. Are you there? Let's go to the next caller. Okay. Caller, your name, and where are you calling from? It's me again from Albuquerque. What's up, Tony A? How you doing, man? Oh, I'm blessed, my brother. How you doing tonight, man? All right. Hey, I wanted to ask you about that Misfit um, Soto uh, when he did that diss track on Tiger. Did you ever hear that? You know what? I only heard what was on Instagram because I, I don't think it was released. Uh, Alex, when did it's he release released. it? When did he release it, Alex? Today. Oh, he released it today. Or yesterday. Uh, or yesterday at five o'clock. So I have not gotten a chance to see it, but I only heard like one verse of the, the verse that people have been posting. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know what? Look. Yeah. Uh, um, to talk about Misfit Misfit's talent, first first and foremost, the guy's very, very talented. Uh, I like what he was saying. But yeah. I, I, but I also liked what Gil from American Cholo Podcast was saying that, yeah, we can make the songs, bro, but it was a big step forward for us to sit down and talk to this guy. And when Directly. I say us, yeah. you know. No, uh, that's true. You know, so. Yeah. 
Well, to be that that video, dude, his uh, Mr. Soto's song was it wasn't super disrespectful, bro. Right. It was more like political, talking about what we're about. You right. know what I'm saying? I was in the video too. If you look it up, I'm in the video. But um, it was it was yeah, a good, it was a up, good, good song. What's up, brother? So it was a good song. Yeah. Like, cause if I would have did a song and I was planning on doing a song, it would have been horribly disrespectful, brother. <laughs> I would have hit him with some G shit. That's that's just that's just. I already did like my research. You know, I was ready. I was ready to come with that shit. Right. But after this, you know, why, 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 you know, why, why do all this shit, bro? You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let everybody, let him do his part. If he don't do his part, then we'll step it up. You know, but you know what? One good thing is that Gil did say that eventually, and and to me, it has to be soon, bro. Yeah. If that apology was sincere, and I don't want to drag it on, but I just want to make a point. If that apology yeah. was sincere, then it'll, he'll take it down. Dude, I have like three, four texts saying, if you don't take the video down, it's, it's bullshit. Yeah, so, it, oh, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll go yeah. from there. We'll take it from there. Hey, thank, thank you, uh, Tony A, and uh, keep doing the good work, man. God bless you, man. God bless, brother. All right, man, you have a good one. Oh, good. Let's keep it going. Okay, we got a um, caller. Where are you calling from, and what's your name? <laughs> Hey, hello. Uh, what's going on? My name is Nicole. My friends call me Este Pepe. Este Pepe. But, uh, I have two questions, very important, uh, about the Raza. Yes, sir. Uh, how we get always sick. I mean, uh, you have the president's wife calling us as unique as breakfast burritos. Like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? It, you know what? Uh, wait, I'm Was sorry. that an old video? Because I, I seen that shit, too, where, where she slipped up, right? It's a lady, right? No, she was, she was in San Antonio talking to a bunch of Hispanics. Uh, yeah. Convention out of the Latinos there. Oh yeah, and that was in the his morning wife. she was saying, "Oh, you all you Hispanics that I see, you guys are like breakfast burritos. They remind me of breakfast burritos." Yeah. I like, what the hell? Yeah, you guys are just as like something like as beautiful yeah, yeah, as a yeah. breakfast burrito. Yeah, I think she slipped up. That was bullshit, though. I feel you. I mean, that's almost like saying you white people are just as beautiful as a honky tonk yeah, bar. Yeah, you're as beautiful as Greek Greek food. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like saying <laughs> fuck, you're as good as uh, olive oil. Uh, African American, oh, you guys like fried chicken. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <But> also. <laughs> You know, I mean, we're not going to look, look, you know, look at, I've always said this, okay? I don't know if that was scripted, what she read. I mean, you know, what she said. She, she slipped up, dog. Yeah, she slipped up. Because let me tell you something. I've always said this, Johnny, that whatever's in the heart, bro, what's in the heart is going to come out the oh, yeah. mouth. Yeah. Okay? So when yeah. she said that, it would be like me addressing people, you know, and all you, say. and all you honkies are beautiful. Yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. I have another question also. Uh, uh, you know, they have the DACA kids, and every election, before the election, they come in and they, and they go, they go to King Taco, they go to East LA, and they do all this, go eat tacos, and uh, they promise they they, they 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 control the House, they control the Senate, and and the presidency. What do they do? They ignore the Hispanics. They great. They 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 just beg beg for your vote, but they do nothing for you. Well, well, well let me say this, Johnny, before you say anything. One thing that I learned about politics, and not, uh, believe me, I don't know a lot about politics. I really, really don't. I leave that to politicians or people that yeah. have dabbled in that okay that field my thing is this that um if politicians didn't lie they wouldn't have anything to talk about exactly they, they'll tell you everything you want to hear they'll eat all the tacos you know just to satisfy you so you can say mira más está comiendo tacos yep. you know and then let's get their vote let's vote yep. for johnson yep. this year and then once they're in office they fucking forget about you they'll never touch another fucking taco again that's exactly right Th that's what they've shown us yeah. So whenever they come to the neighborhood and like, well, look, I I'm shoveling dirt. Yeah, let me get the brown vote. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, is. I'm gonna go to the taco shop. Let me get the brown vote. Yeah, so that, this is what they do. It's yeah. very, very hard to trust a politician, bro. But I will say this: that I will have somebody running for council soon here. So I'm gonna get to ask this person all these type of questions. Yeah, so that's good, definitely. So oh, hell yeah, tell him what his favorite tacos are. Yeah, you know. You probably take Taco Bell. You know he's not real. <laughs> yeah, it, it, exactly. Del Taco, homie. It, it, Del Taco. No, next, next time a politician comes to the neighborhood and wants to buy a taco. Yeah, Del Taco. Johnny, next time a politician Their comes to. Salsa, like Del Taco, yeah. Mild salsa. yeah, next time they come, say, I'm going to order a taco for you. There you go. Hell yeah. Yeah, Del Taco de Pastor fucking con todo. Yeah, extra chili. Con todo. Hook his fucking <laughs> exactly. ass up, homie. Have him, yeah. have him throwing bedo palms yeah. all night. His fucking chicloso will be sorry. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> All right, Carnal. Thank you for your call, brother. Yeah. Thanks for you guys. All good, bro. All right, let's keep let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We got about forty five minutes left. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's keep it going. Okay, cool. Uh, caller, your name and where you calling from? Hey, what, what's up? Is this is James. I'm from South Central. What's up, my brother? How you doing? South Central in the building. What's good? What's good? What's good? I'm just sitting over here, just sipping and tripping. What's, what's One good of them with you? Is what was that? 
No, I said I'm just right here Hello? sipping and tripping. What's good, bro? Uh, what's your question? All right, all right, for sure. Hey, so what, what you think about all these, like some of these podcasters copying your style, like by drinking Espelon and all that stuff? Oh shit! Oh uh, shit! What, 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 what podcasts are doing that? Um, you know, Emphasize I don't want to mention any names, but you know, uh, who say they are. it, let it out, G. Let, let it out. So, so do, do you do you actually think that there's podcasts out there copying my style? I'll touch on it. He don't have to. Oh hell yeah! Like, uh, <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll mention some names. Uh, Hood stocks. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you know what? I don't know. You know, I mean, may- maybe I inspired them. C- can we use that word? <laughs> you need that sponsor, bro. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, 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 you need that you know, sponsor. Yes, yeah, maybe I inspired them, you know, so no, I'll yeah. take it. That. I don't, go, go ahead, Johnny. What are you going to say? No, you just need a sponsor, bro. If everybody's copying the style, it means you're doing something right, brother. You know right. what? Well, cool, man. You know what? Yeah. Um, right. But you know what? Like I said, like uh, I interviewed Hood Stocks here, and then... I went on his platform, so it's all good, you know. So, uh, yeah, maybe I inspired them. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> you got okay, so other- another question? Yes, sir. So, would you would you ever interview like someone all in Spanish, like a, like a Spanish rapper? You know what? I would love to, and and I'm going to answer. I'm glad you brought that up because there's a guy I believe from San Diego. Uh, his name's Diablo. Mm-hmm. He's an all Spanish rapper. Okay. Okay. <coughs> uh, this was almost two years ago because September it'll be three years that I've been podcasting. Um, we got in contact, and this is when I interviewed a guy from Las Vegas, Duende. Duende, yeah. And old. Duende addressed uh, an issue that was going on with uh, uh, with Diablo. So Diablo had reached out, and we had set it up. But I will say this. I could talk fluent Spanish, but there's a lot of words that I have trouble with because, you know what? Uh, uh, my first language uh, growing up was, was Spanish. We weren't allowed talking English at home. But then when you grow up fucking talking English with all the homies, you kind of forget a little bit. Yeah. You know, so, nah, but yeah. I, I can definitely nah, hold a conversation uh, with him. My thing is that um, I don't know if my audience, under, all my audience, understand Spanish. That's the only reason why I've been a little bit reluctant to do an all Spanish interview. So I don't know if that. No, helps. Yeah, it does, it does because I see, I, I see all like all these, all these uh, Mexican like um, rappers from Mexico coming up, like Stecan and and Santa Fetlan and all them, all them coming up. And yes. I know they do shows out here, so I was like, man, that would be badass if you can get one of them to do an interview. Oh uh, no, you know what? I would love to, bro. And if I did, I'd force it, you know, because like I said, uh, um, uh, I could talk Spanish, bro. I have no problem with that. But my thing is like, I just don't know if. You know, I don't even know if even forty percent of my audience knows Spanish, so it'll be hard. Yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of Spanish is watered down hey. nowadays. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, I already know uh, the basics. So. Hey, like, like, you, like you said it, like you said it before. Like, like all the Chicano rappers, they all tend to be like Mexican and all this, and don't even know how to speak their own language. No, you, you know what? Yeah. They're, they're, that's a lot of them, bro. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's a lot of them. They they don't. And and here's my thing. I, I love it that they're proud. But my thing, if you're going to be proud of your culture, at least learn from your culture and speak the language of your culture. But no, go I got to speak on that quick, though, because regardless of it, I, I grew up, I, I, I knew this, I knew Spanish, like, not fluently, but I knew it enough. Mm-hmm. With my grandma, when my grandma passed, mm-hmm. I kind of, like, it kind of it kind of kicked out, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, because that's how so, you communicated so I, with I can, I can honestly say I'm part of that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So but what it is, but I want to learn it. I want to learn it now. Okay. As an adult, but I'm going to learn it because that's that's my culture, bro. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I got to learn it. That's my thing. That's it. Especially uh, girls like uh, guys that speak several languages. So. <laughs> yeah, I got to speak to my girl like that. Nah. <laughs> nah, but yeah, so I mean, you just got to call in and um, you guys are doing a good thing there. And yep. um, just to let you know, Tony, if you guys need another box of snacks, I got you guys. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. That's, this is the snack guy. Some spread? Hell yeah. Spread? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, my brother. You stay blessed. Thank you for calling in, man. All right. All right, all right, then. All right, Johnny D. Shout out to Nacho Vandas Cookies. Oh, there oh you go, yeah. My boy. Go ahead, promote that, Johnny. Talk to you later, homie. Nacho Granny's Cookies. These are Nacho Granny's Cookies. flavor Granny. is motherfucking life, brother. That's right. There you go. Yes, okay, sir. somebody's what calling from a weird ass number I'm not even going to pick up. So uh, let's keep going. Look, don't number. call from a block number because I'm not going to answer it, bro. I already know who the probably that is. Yeah, exactly. So it's your baby mama, fool. Nah, I mean. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's keep it pushing. Uh, once again, caller, where are you calling from? And uh, they fucking hung up. So, uh, so let's, let's go. Are you feeling that whiskey buzz? Yeah, I took like one shot. 
Don't get one shot after another. Okay, here we go. Pretty halfway done with the bottle. Guys. We got somebody. Yo, yo. Uh, caller, where you calling from, man? Uh, what's your name? Yo. Tony, what's up, brother? Big Dose from 805. Big Dose. Big Dose area. We Big talked dose. not long ago. All good, my brother. What's going on, brother? What's your question? Well, I just want to talk about all this uh, stuff we're going on about with Tiger and, and all this stuck in American Cholo and all this shit. Cancel culture, man. I mean, what are we going to do? We're going to keep canceling everybody out? I mean, is that the ultimate goal or what? I, I could barely. Did you understand him, Johnny? He said, is that the ultimate goal? The <laughs> ultimate goal is to, to uh, you know what? Uh, like, I'm going to say it again. It's to make an example out of one of them. And, and as we're doing now, we're doing way more than we did when, prior. Before, before prior songs came out. You know, it's like uh, we're, making a, we're making a stand, bro. And, and for us to make a stand, everybody got to step up. It's not just talk about it, be about it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, and, let's, and let's be yeah, honest, Johnny. I agree 100%. Yeah. If, you can't, if you can't count on one person and then another person count on you, we all got to be able to take a joke and take a laugh at the same time. I mean, we can't just be canceling everybody out for a little bullshit, right. no, you know, jokes or you know, what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you, you know, let me say something, Johnny. Uh, is, and we're just not talking about people standing up. We're not just talking about rappers, podcasters, but we're also talk dependent on fans. Oh, definitely. Look fans, at, like like what I said too. Like I was thinking, like you know, I, I was constantly in the comments yes. on your podcast on American Cholos. And, and it, and it might have been negative because I was upset. You know, I was yes. saying, like, if we can stand up for, for vendors and we can pull up in person and we can show that we care, why can't we do the same thing with shutting this food down? Yeah, when he comes to L.A., why can't we? Because you got to remember, if we go with numbers, it's peaceful. Yeah. If we go with less numbers, it's people with intentions to hurt, bro. Yes, yes. Because you have less people, so you're going to go with an intentions to do some damage, bro. You, look, look. You know, we, like, we, we have such a big voice right now that... Hypothetically, okay, let's just say a hypothetical scenario. He's performing at the Microsoft Theater, and we just go live and say, "Raza, do not show up, yeah. do not support no, him." Shows does, outside, shut the shit down. He does not support yes, you exactly. And and if it's empty, you know what? Then that's one, uh, if you will. No, you're, there's there's ways. Like, okay, I thought about it. Like, okay, we can pull up, we can do a peaceful, like like rally, shut his shit mm -hmm. down. Don't let them come in. Have the back and the front cover. Whatever the case. Or we can do it in numbers but, but peacefully. Did, but, but, or we can go. That, but yeah. you didn't have the attitude at all? Right, it is, you didn't bro. You didn't have the attitude. What if they, they start doing the same shit to other shows? Well, then, dude, they, 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 they thing, both ways, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of people are saying this, brother. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, who cares? What do you care about it? I don't understand Just turn, that. turn, just make, just, who cares? It's don't, not even a big deal. Don't listen to why, it. Why mess up the black and brown unity? You know what? Like you gotta understand, unity is 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 united. Like it's love. It's 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 one. So how are you gonna unite if you can't unite with your own people first? First, yeah. Snoop Dogg said it first. He said, "I'm gonna unite the black before I step to the brown." Yeah. We need to unite the brown before we step to the black. We are not united. We have friends. We have family members. Yeah. We have except everything, etc. But it, it's not united. United is is harmony. We don't have harmony until we until we until we fix our circle. We can't step forward and and step to the black with that. Yeah. He hung up. So hopefully that answers your question. That's that's my. I'm answer. not sure if he's calling back. That's my question. My answer. All that. Hello, shit. caller. What are you calling? And what's your name? Oh, hey, I'm calling from. Santa Maria, Santa Maria in the building. What's good, my brother? Uh, my name, my name is uh, yeah, my name's Daniel. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to say, uh, like, uh, thought like all your like early albums are really dope. Like, Thank you. Um, with High C, yeah, those are like I bought those cassettes back in the day, and I bought them like three or four times because they're too dope, and <laughs> I only had so much money to spend. So <laughs> you know, I mostly bought West Coast stuff. But I always want to check out some of the East Coast stuff. But all good. It's always about EZ, NWA, all that stuff. Um, yeah, all that West Coast shit. All good, my brother. Do you have a question for us tonight? Maybe a question for Johnny D. Um. Yeah. No, that was all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, bro. So. Yeah. All man. good, Dope, man. You know what? No problems, man. Thank you, bro. And, uh, and much love to Santa Maria. Oh, yeah. Tony's producing is dope, but he hasn't gave me a beat, so I don't care. Yeah. Okay, brother. You have a blessed night. Thank you for calling in and being a part of the show. Let's keep it going. Okay, let's see. 619 in the building. 619. Are you calling for San Diego, caller? Hello, yes. Yes. What's your name, brother? Uh, 
Eric. Eric, Eric, how you doing? Yeah, Do you have a the chat? question, comment? Uh, good, good. Um, I was wondering uh, if you're ever going to be able to get a uh, sick jacket on the show. You, you know what? Okay, I'm glad you asked that question. And I need all, I need everybody to listen to what I'm about to say. I've contacted Sick Jackin several times. And I would say several times at least by three different people. Yeah. And these three people I've interviewed. Oh, yeah, I got a number. I'll call him. Oh, yeah, I got his number. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll set it up. Okay, cool. I have never talked to Sick Jackin personally. So let me say that. And I at least respectfully want to say this. Those three people, I don't know if they actually ever reached out to Sick Jackin. Yeah. Okay. But they've all told me, and these three people don't even know each other. They've all told me, uh, he, he said he's not doing interviews right now. That's what he said. All three people said that. Okay, cool. Then cool. I, I had Be Real here the second time. Uh, uh, be, much love to Be Real, by the way. I, you guys got to watch his documentary. Yeah. You guys got to go to Showtime and watch his documentary. It, 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 uh, it's I'm fucking watch dope. Tonight. It's yeah. fucking dope. Okay? I didn't even know he had a documentary, G. So now, I, uh, the, the second time I had Be Real here, I had a drum machine and I, and I had my turntable right here. Okay. And he told me like this, you know who you need to get on here? You need to get Sick Jackin. I said, okay, cool. He goes, I'm going to call him and I'm going to get him here. There you go. This is B-Real now, Hell okay? Yeah. And um, so I contacted B-Real. I said, hey, what did he say? He goes, well, he said he wanted your info and he'll be contacting you. He never contacted me. And I don't think B-Real will lie to me. Yeah, so, he wouldn't bullshit. That's, so, it's, like, it's like me calling this a dad. Yeah, like, so that's over a year now. Yeah. So I don't know what the deal is, bro. Come on, Sick Jackin. Come on. Oh, let's yeah. Go. So I don't, I, I really don't know, don't know what to do. I would love to get him on here because I want to talk hip hop with him. You know, I want to talk rap. Yeah. And there's a lot gotta, of people remember too that, that request him. You were, you, you talk to a 90% of the people that people are asking for. Yes. So there's always something that they don't want. You know, there's always some reason. Yeah. Are they, there's always some extra shit they want. No comments, no da 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 da. Yeah. Like I could just imagine, you know, don't, don't be a diva. Just come on and do your shit. You, 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 know, you know, let me say this. Uh, uh, what I'll do respect to Sick Jackin is this that uh, you know B-Real has a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame oh my God. this guy has made Come history on. he's traveled around the world many many times and and I say this respectfully Johnny and, and to my caller B-Real's right here okay and I see Sick Jackin right here okay and I say that respectfully okay you have you had celebrities on this show right so it's not like I, I, you don't, so, don't want to bag anybody for right. to be on your show. So, so my thing is this: if Be Real can come on your show, you can come on your show. Yeah, bro. All I want, all I want to do is just talk hip hop. Yeah. Let's 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 give the people what they want. That's mm -hmm. all. So, uh, Sick Jackin, if you're watching this, much send love, him a much, DM, IG. No, much love, much respect to you, Sick Jackin. Uh, uh, I would love to sit down and talk rap with you. That's all. So, so that's my answer, Big Dog. Hopefully that that helps. Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Have I was a, always wondering. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I was always wondering why he wasn't on there yet, because so, he talked to Be Real, and I felt like a lot of people that are associated with the jacket, and I was wondering why he wasn't on there yet. You know, he, I'm just going to throw out a name. Two Mix, yeah, dope-ass fucking rapper. Yeah. Lives in Long Beach. Yeah. He yeah. told me Sick Jack and Vitz him several times a week. Yeah. Several times, and he said like this, oh. I'm going to get him on your show. Okay, cool. Did you ever talk to him? Oh, yeah. I gave him your info, and he said he'll contact you. Yeah. So See, so it's not like he's not rushing. But yeah. regardless of it, he's trying, you know? Yeah. So Tony Tony has reached out. He did his part. If he don't want to, you know, hit back, then it is what it is, my dude. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, is. my brother. You have a blessed night, and we'll talk soon, man. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. All good. See, uh, this generation says... Uh, it is what it is. We used to say it's like that, and that's, and that's the, way the way it is, is. is. motherfucker. Uh! <laughs> Caller, you like that. your name and where you calling from? Remix. Yeah, hey Tony, my name is Mike. Hey, I'm just tapping in real quick. Hey, listen, I'm a big fan. Grew up listening to the. I mean, the Scandalous album was one of my all time classics. Thank you. Just uh, wondering if you could kind of touch on all the work and resources that went into a project like that. Hey, thanks for your time again, Tony. Have a blessed day, my man. Thank you. Um, you know what? Before I answer another phone call, I want to say this. Going. It took a lot of ultimate breaks and beats. Uh, those were the uh, ultimate uh, yeah, those yeah. Were break beat records, okay? Yeah, the records. And those were uh, actually put together by Breakbeat, Lou, and Lenny. So I want to give a shout out to them. Um, and I always want to say that 
You know what, Johnny? I was always a DJ and a mixtape guy. I was kind of forced into being a producer, you know? So I took my time. And back then, to, to do an album, it took maybe six to nine months. Yeah. And then after you were done, the label would say, would determine when they would release it. Because our album exactly. was done in 1990, and it's late 1990, and they said, oh, we'll release it 1991 in December. But in the beginning of the year, we're going to drop a single. Yeah. Then we're going to drop another single, and then we're going to drop the album. Yeah, That's the album. So, uh, you know what? A lot of work went into that album. Uh, me and High C, you just sleep at the studio. And, you know, for people that don't know, we had a deadline to finish that record, and we literally used to take showers or baths out of a sink. Yeah, some that, bum shit. That's the truth. Some bum shit. It, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's true. You got you to do what you got to do. You know what? But, yeah. But we, we finished the deadline because we wanted $140,000. Yeah, fuck it. And all we did was eat spreads. Believe it or not, we ate fucking top ramen with fucking chicharrones and pickles and whatever. <laughs> you know, so. So, thank you, caller. And I appreciate that question. Okay, so let's take this call. Caller, where are you calling from and uh, what's your name? Yeah, what up? My boy, I'm calling from LA, Highland Park. What's up? Johnny. Highland Park, my brother. How you doing, man? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I just started fucking with you, my boy. I like how you're, you're moving. I like how you connect the, the people, the gente with the other rasa and shit. Keep pushing that shit, my boy. Thank you, man. You know what? Um, I always say this, that we have a voice. We have technology now where we can go live on Facebook. We can go live on Instagram. Yep. We can go live on YouTube. The only thing that's not free is internet. Okay? Yeah. Since we Why have... Since we have the technology, now we have a voice. So I always encourage Rasa, start your own platform. Yeah. Definitely. Start your own platform. And you know what? Yeah. Reach out to me and I will promote you here. I yeah, want my there's, all kind, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of shit to make money, my boy. I saw clothes, I saw dogs and shit. Yeah. I I got my own um I got a merch and shit. I don't know if I could shout it out. Is shout, it cool? shout it out, bro. Let's promote you. It's good. It's www.frenchygang.com. I saw Frenchies, bro. Frenchie there game? You go. I saw them yeah, little Yeah, I saw perritos. Frenchies, Bulldogs, Bullies, all that. Okay, no, no, but your website, just to make sure, www.frenchiegame.com? Gang.com, yeah. Dope, dope. That's tight. Hit him up. You guys looking for a yeah, little Frenchie? Yeah, I am, boy. Keep going, keep, keep going, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for having me on, and I don't want to waste your time, man. I know you have a lot of callers. All shout, good, my brother. Shout out, almost shout out. Shout out you, my boy. Stay up. Thank you. Gracias. Much success in your business, bro. Let's I'm keep it pushing. Me. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. Well, let's go. We got on the caller. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Oh, yeah. It's El Jefe de Jefe from San Diego. Yeah. What's up? What's up, San Diego? Eastside San Diego. Eastside San Diego in the building, yes, brother. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, nah, I'm just, I just calling in to uh, let you guys know, hey, I'm proud of what Rasa is doing right now, you know, I think, I think all the stuff that's happened to us lately is, is, is uniting us, getting us closer, you know, and, um, and, uh, and we're, we're standing up and we're, we're not let we're not letting, uh, you know, people get away with, with, with stuff anymore, you know, and then, and as far as the Tiger situation, we're, we're on his head right now. We just, you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. we, we, just, we should still, Keep our keep keep our uh, foot on his neck, you know what I mean? Like he said, making an example because we're not playing no more. We can't we can't be uh, allowing this kind of behavior to, uh, to oh, keep shit. going on, you know. And so and so yeah, so we we've been on and uh, yeah, hey, to uh, Johnny D, yeah, we, uh, we were on the video the other day with with this shit, you know, about my dogs and stuff. Oh shit, there you uh, go. I came so down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, G? What's up, G? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, nah, I, I love it, you know what I mean? And, and we're, we're doing the damn thing, you know what I'm saying? And, and Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah hey, we're, we're doing it, so so big up to us on that for sure, you know what I mean? Hey, we, we, we got to link up too, dog. You know, hit my DM, G. We got we to do something. Yeah, yeah for sure, you know yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, uh, when I know to G, and uh, gracias for letting me out. Uh, when I know to bro. Morning. You stay right, blessed, brother. my bro. Okay, let's keep it pushing. We got a couple of more minutes. Uh, no, we're not going to call. take that one. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's take this one. Caller, where are you calling from and what's your name? Caller, I got to count to three. One. 
Hey, so, I'm right here, brother. I'm right here. Oh, yeah. All right, Son of G. What's that? Loco. It, it, it's me, man. It's me, Box again. I just had an epiphany right now, huh? Oh, shit. You know what I'm thinking? Oh, shit. Go ahead. Why don't you start a record? I'm, I'm going to shoot it, Holmes. I'm going to shoot it, Holmes. You should start a record label, Holmes. Well, you know what? That's, that's been in the works, bro. That's that's been, actually been in the you works. You should start a record label. Yes. That's the, and let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you why that's been in the works. Because we have a platform right here that can perform that, that yeah. can actually promote artists. Oh yeah, that's actually been in the works. And, yeah. I, and uh, actually, me and my boy Darren Vegas have been talking about that, so that may happen soon. So, yeah, most. I most was definitely. just thinking about that. This Santa, I didn't mean to call back in and be like, "Damn, there's lots of calling the box from the <laughs> but I No, it's all good. All good, G. It's all good, bro. You know what? All you're doing is just encouraging me to move forward. Oh yeah. So, well, you know what I'm going to say this? For us to move forward. That's what yeah, I'm going to yeah. say. So. Uh, well, shit, I need a record deal, homeboy. I need one of them. You know, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, brother. Hey, spit a verse, dog. Spit a verse. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Spit a 16, homeboy. Yeah, oh, shit. I'll jump on it. I, I don't mind nothing on pattern pan. I can do it live real quick. No Let's do it. Knock it out, G. Do it. Let's get this. Let's hear, let's hear that. Let's hear that shit. Knock a sixteen out. Sixteen bars. Let's go. Okay, right, right here, right now. Yeah, let's do it. You're live, dog. Let's do it. Let's get it out. I'm live. I'm live. I'm live right now, man. Uh, yeah, you're right, Holmes. And I wrap my mouth and uh, it's been a while, but uh, 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 shit, man, I can't right, right for a second, but uh, one day, homeboy, when uh, we get this, we get time, we do this, we do that. You all know good. what I'm saying? All good, my G. All good, homie. You have a blessed night, bro. Thank you for calling back. All right, all right brother. Alex, do me a favor. When you get a chance, grab another fucking Modelo Negra. So, let's keep it pushing. We got about two, 23 minutes left, and uh, we're going to keep it pushing. So, once again, call her. Where you, you call her from? Yeah, What's your I'm name? Good. Okay, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Call her. Where are you calling from, and What's your name? Oh, uh, What's up? Uh, Tony from Westmile, eh? Uh, your phone the is cutting. With, uh, video king. I'm sorry, what was Hello? that? Yeah. Y your phone was breaking yeah, this, up. Hey, this is Brown 96, the homie from, from Salinas. The homie from Salinas. Salinas from in the building, Salinas. bro. You got a comment, question? Hey, uh, what's up? Uh, no, I just wanted to uh, congratulate you, bro, with this, you know, platform. Uh, it's been going on for, for, you know, more than what haters fucking yes. anticipated and shit. You know what I mean? Yes. And that, that's fucking firme, you know, and, and I wanted to thank you again for for the for the cameo on my video, King. Oh yeah. So yeah. for that. That's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. You know that that I was a that was a female ass fucking thing. You know, like nothing but love was shown and uh, to all the gente. You know what I mean? And uh, I just want to know that you know let people know that that you know Rafa's coming up. Hopefully, we we do even bigger than the fucking nineties and shit. Cause that nineties is a memorable ass fucking time and. Uh, you know, I just hope that Rafa get together again to fucking do that shit right, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Thank you for calling in, bro. Thank you for being a part of the show. We truly appreciate you taking your time. Definitely. Gracias, yeah. Have a blessed night. Let's keep it pushing. Right, here we go. Let's go. Caller, your name and where you calling from? Uh, Andres from Escondido. Andres from Escondido. Yes, what's, good? what's good, my brother? Do you have a question or a comment or anything you want to share? Yeah, I got a question for Tony here. Yeah. Anyway, saludos to uh, Johnny D. I'm good, G. What's cracking? Hell yeah, uh, I got a question. Uh, would you ever have uh, Mr. Little One or Mr. Shadow return for, uh, for an interview? You know what? I'm glad you asked that. Uh, you ready for my answer? <laughs> yes. Okay. I had a little one on here maybe like three times. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, me and little one used to like text each other pretty much every day. Yeah, like we became pretty, actually pretty close. He would call me and I would call him. Cool, whatever. Um, Shadow, you know, I asked him to, well, before I get to Shadow, let me say this about little one. And, and, and I really hope that they listen to this because I consider, I started to consider Little one and shadow friends. Okay, I, I really did. Yeah. Uh -huh. When Night Owl 
when things went sour with Night Owl, let me say it this way because I'm not going to disrespect Night Owl because he's no longer here. May you rest in peace. Okay. Yeah. When rest Night Owl peace, cut, yeah. cut me off, a uh, little one cut me off just like that. Just like that, bro. Like, okay. And we, we were talking every oh, single damn. He used to send me inspirational, like quotes, like every morning, bro. And he sent me workout videos and we used to talk. And it, it, it was just like I found like a new friend with little one. And all of a sudden, he oh. just he just stopped talking to me. I didn't understand that. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. Night All passed away. Once again, may he rest in peace. One of my homies told Night Owl's parents, coming from me, uh, Tony says, you know, he sends his condolences. The way the story yeah. goes, that Shadow told my homie, don't you ever mention Tony A's name around me again. That's what he said. Yeah. So what? I didn't know him. I didn't know Shadow. Like that. Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Because about two months prior, I had already booked Shadow to come back. So Shadow has been on here twice. The yeah. first, first time I interviewed him, and then when I interviewed him with the Mistas, him and Little One. Yeah. Exactly. So I had called him, and here, here are Shadow's words. I know Nido, my compadre, is not going to like it, but fuck it, I'll go ahead and come on your podcast. That's what he said. And I said, yeah, man, I would, I would love for you to come back. Okay. Night out passes yes, away. Yes. Once again, rest in peace. And my homie approaches Night Owl's father, Tony A. Sends his condolences. Shadow heard that. According to the story, okay, that my friend told me that Shadow yeah. approached him. Don't you ever mention his name again. Yeah. Here's my thing. Shadow has my number, bro. Exactly. If he has the issue with me, then he could take it up with me. And I'm going to say this respectfully. He sat here on my yeah, show and he said, if little Rob has a, 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 a issue with me, he can call me. He can talk to me. Yeah. I'm doing the same thing right yeah. now with the shadow. That's real spin. Yeah. If you got an issue, yeah, yeah. you got a problem with me, then call me. Because up to that point, I thought we were cool and you were booked and I had already sent you a date and you had already confirmed yeah. and I never heard from you. So up to this point, bro, I don't even know, you know. So, it's, it's it's people choosing yeah. sides It is what it is yeah. But But you know like Just man up And be you know Like shit we're too old For this shit bro Look Man up Look little one And shadow have my number And if they have an issue with me Or if they just want to talk with me They can call me Yeah Yeah We can We're all grown yeah. Bro I'm 54 years old homie Like I'm a grown fucking man We don't need to play This Instagram shit bro So So once again Shadow you want to talk to me Same on Call me Little one you want to Talk to me and call me or whatever. So I, I hope I kind of fill that in. But let me say this. If they called me and they talked to me and we squared things up, I wouldn't have a problem with those two guys uh, uh, sit on a cross with them. Yeah. Now, if somebody asked me, will you sit on with royalty again? No. He, uh, royalty yeah, yeah. lost that privilege. That's it. Too many bridges burned. That's it, bro. So hopefully I answer your question. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> no. You should have yeah. Okay, brother. You have a blessed night, man. We'll talk soon, okay? Thank you. All good. Let's keep it rolling right here on <laughs> Calls with the Wizard. So, let's go. Yo, caller, where are you like calling that. from, I man? Like uh, what's your name? I like that, my G. What's cracking? I'm calling from Sacra, Sacramento, California, man. Sacra yeah. is in the building. Let's get it. What's up, my brother? Yes, you got a question, comment, this, whatever. Yeah, just to change gears um, from what you guys were just discussing, I had two thoughts while I was listening to tonight's show. First, saludos, man. Thank you guys for representing the raza, representing la gente. Yes. The, um, you know, big ups. You guys are doing your thing. And we follow, man. We're, we're followers. So we, we kind of need your guys' voices to, to, to speak for us. We're just citizens out here in the street. And we, we rely on, on platforms like this. To, to, to chop it up, to sit at the table and work out our differences and all that stuff. So anyways, yeah. thank you guys. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Um, thank you, my brother. Thank you, um, you know, to all the veterans. Um, so I, my thoughts were this. But going back to Duno, right? Um, he, what, is he like 19, right? He's a teenager. No, I don't no, even no, think no. He's, he's able 22 to. 22 years old. 22, baby. Okay. Yeah. Spenta, Spenta. Okay. Correct. Okay. So he, he's a man then. Okay. Anyways, I see him as this. When I heard that whole roundabout with him going back at us at our at our hand day, I thought to myself, man, he he's a 
he's a dude on the, the lunch table over there in ninth grade at high school who's trying to fit in. He's over here laughing at the jokes that are basically racist, yeah. offending our rasa, offending our elders. And he's, he's laughing along, but deep down inside, he knows that he shouldn't be. Deep down inside, is burning him up. But he has to kind of assimilate in order to get credibility at that lunch table. And that's like a, that's like a high school mentality, right? And so I, I kind of see him as that. It's a generation thing, bro. Yeah. He, he like, like, like I, I, hear, I, I see exactly what you're saying. He's, he's hearing these racial jokes and he's taking it in, right? And he's laughing about it. He's not, he's not taking it seriously. But that's that's that generation, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, like okay. shit. If that was yeah. happening in my generation, it would be addressed right away, you know. But but on top yeah. of that, he's his whole thing is like, oh, why is everybody mad at Tiger? Why is everybody mad at Tiger? Why Tiger ain't understand. doing shit? I, I don't understand Ty, that. Tiger is Tiger's whole thing was disrespectful, you know. Like the back Absolutely. in the days when they 100. did black, when they did blackface, you know how big that shit was. When they did blackface, it was so bad. Yeah. I mean, he's doing brownface, brother. Like, yeah. But you know what it is? Yeah, so it's so it's, like, it's, like it's, it's our here? fault, though. No, it's our fault, though. I'm yep. going to tell you right now. It's our fault because yep. we didn't fucking address it during the YG and Tyga during the blue face. We addressed it barely. There was nobody big enough to speak for us, like our George Lopez, like our anybody that we have. Like, you see... I see, I see, Neta, Neta. I see John Leguizamo yeah. yeah. stepping off, stepping off a Rasa more than um, than um, than than um, George Lopez. Oh shit! It's a fucking, it's a <laughs> sad situation, brother. We don't, we we, we need to, we need to have voices. Hell we need yeah. to speak up. We need to step in front. We need to, we need to be right there. We need to, without us, like without Eto. us coming united and stepping Eto. up, shit ain't gonna go nowhere. It's a beautiful thing. Come on, so okay. and so. It's, it's, feel, a gen- it's, a, yeah. it's a beautiful thing, bro, when Rasa comes I'm, together, bro, because we, we do have a voice. Exactly. Th- that's all I'm going to say. We yeah, do have it, a voice, bro. Exactly. Can I go to my second just thought real fast, yes, sir, gentlemen, sir, and then yeah. um, I'll split. It, it, following up on the generational thing and, and the division, so if we're, if we're not unified, we basically are fighting our little battles, a little battle here, a little battle here, and then we're like, oh, after that battle's done, then we'll go get unified and jump on Tony A's shit, and then we'll go support whoever because we got this little battle we were fucking so heated about well that's what i just saw recently with this vato from san diego and shout out to the other caller you know what i mean who was from san diego but there's this vato who's uh, a younger cat younger rapper um weirdo i think is his name and oh, he made a comment a about yeah, a business yeah. that that doesn't have anything to do with 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 barrios politics or, or penitentiary warfare right and he made a comment saying, we don't support that bullshit, blah, blah, blah. And it was a business that's affiliated with upstate up here. You know what I mean? With um, Northern Raza. And yeah. instead of big upping or just shake, you know what I mean? Just keeping our mouths shut yeah. and respecting others. It's like, here we are creating this division. And then we can't even take on the beast. We need to take on the fucking beast. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, You, you know what? You, you know what um, I'm sorry. Let me, allow me to interject. This guy, Little Weirdo. Yeah. It was about a year ago. I had him booked. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know who hooked them up for me? Little one did. Yeah, little one hooked me up with uh, one or two artists. I think one of them got one of the guys was named Alex. Was the name Chunks or something like that? Or yeah, Chunks. Ch- Chunks is dope. Yeah, Chunks. Yeah, was Chunks. Here. Okay, he was here. Let's we'll see them too. Right? Yeah, I had yeah. Chunks and uh, Weirdo to be booked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunks yeah. showed up. He drove all the way from San Diego, so re- I gotta respect him. Weirdo contacted. Little one and told him the night before the interview, I got something better else to do. I'm gonna be in a video shoot with uh, uh, Drummer Boy. That's what he said. Now keep in mind he was booked. Yeah, was, wow. He was booked a month beforehand, yep. but the night before, yeah. I guess he found something better else to do. That he said, you know what? I'm gonna go with Drummer Boy. And then the next day, the day of the the day of the interview, he posts up a picture with Drummer Boy. He goes, the price just went up. Ah, <laughs> uh, No, but you know what? Bro. He's he's um. You gotta remember, he's a youngster <laughs> too, dog. So that's that's Duno's division right there. That's yeah, his people right, right there. Right, right. So it's like right. their 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 division right. of people is to be. They allow they allow being disrespected. They they have right. they they have no balls, bro. Like right. that's just what it is. Like. You don't have the balls to speak up. You're, you're, you're a bitch, bro. Like, that's just what it is. Look, let so, me tell you something. You know general. what I always say, Johnny? If you have the balls 
make the calls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you might as well drop your drawers and let fools, <laughs> let fools fucking paws up in your fucking walls, nigga. Get that yeah. shit wet like Niagara Falls, baby. You feel me? <laughs> shit. Oh, open that door, Alex. But anyways, like I was saying, um, you know what? Uh, that's why I like this calls with the wizard because it gives the uh, the public an opportunity to call me and ask me, yeah. why hasn't this artist been on your platform? And I'm only going to speak the truth. Because you're bitching out. Like, it is I, what it is. I'm dog. only going to speak the truth. So let's keep it pushing, bro. Thank you, caller, for calling, bro. We got more callers calling in, and I want to thank you, bro. Let's so, get it. Absolutely. Stay blessed, bro. Okay, uh, let's go. We got more callers. Let's keep it. You pushing. got more callers. Okay, we got a caller right here. <laughs> caller, your name, where are you calling from? Hello, my name's Martha from South Central. Martha from South Central. It's harder to get in contact with you than to get into the Art of Boat Connection on Sunday, I oh, swear. Shit. No shit. <laughs> wow. I've been know. calling for a while now, but I had a question. Yes. Um, I don't know if you've seen what's know the product, uh, on her podcast uh, since you guys like to talk about alpha males that if you're in a group of guys and a guy cracks a joke and you laugh that you're not an alpha what is your opinion or your thought on that okay c can you repeat the question please you said snow the product oh snow the product has her podcast and she said if you if your man or you're in a group of guys say five guys and one of them cracks a joke and the other guy looks at the main guy that you're not an alpha, like you shouldn't laugh at another man's joke. What is your thought uh, of that? You know what? That's like saying, let's take a comedian like Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. He goes up on stage and he makes people laugh. That's his job, right? Yeah. So right. men are not, are not supposed to laugh? I mean, well, I, what I kind of joke is it, though? Black. What kind of joke? Is it a, is it a joke I mean, about females or is it a joke about males? Didn't say. Okay. So, to be it, honest, if you didn't say it's just something that is like, why would, you know, I don't, I don't get that. But since you guys like to talk about the alphas, no, no. I'm like, okay, is it something you can emphasize I it said? more? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? First of all, no, yeah. uh, let me say something about Snow. Uh, three people that claimed that they know her, <laughs> and these three people don't even know her, and I'm glad you asked that. Uh, I could get her on your show. Okay, cool. You know, I'm not begging no one. Okay. I've been in this game since 1987. So I said, okay, cool. You know, hit her up. Uh, she's not interested. Uh, the next one was, uh, she's not doing no interviews. Uh, you know, she didn't get back to me. Look, here's my thing. You ain't that fucking Hollywood. Look, and, and I don't mean that as disrespect. I don't. But you claim you're for our people. Here's my thing. Sit down with our people then. Yeah, big time. Sit down with our people. Yeah. You know, so, you know, you, she may say, well, I sat down with George Lopez. But I'm going to say it again. Sit down with our people. You, you know that Be exactly. Real? Be Real came to the motherfucking neighborhood, bro. Johnny. Be Real, Spice One. A bunch of artists that don't have to, that, that didn't have to be here. So it's like, that. Uh, there's a lot of artists that are really, really huge that came here and, and, and mm -hmm. did it. You know, they didn't get paid. They didn't come to that. Cocaine been here. A bunch of artists been here. A bunch of artists, Latino artists, a bunch of black artists that came here. Big artists, name artists. You know, and, and not to throw here. dirt on her name, but bigger artists than her, bro. No, it just, it's just a lot of people need to stop that and, and come through and support. The the whole thing right now, our, our whole thing, I know, I know you're, you're, we're kind of going off subject, but the whole thing is supporting, you know what I'm saying? So if I wish she was here so she can she can answer that question that you said. Yeah. But regardless of it, um, she needs to elaborate more on that question. Yeah, she needs, she, she does. But let me tell you something. If, you, if she's going to say you're not an alpha male, my thing is this. What do you care about alpha males when you're with another woman? Huh? You can laugh. Yeah, you right? can laugh. But then she's going to go with the, you the know girl what I'm saying? anyways. Like, like, maybe you were with the wrong guy. <laughs> you, know, you know, I saw a meme one time that said this, like, all men are the same. And, and then the rest of the meme said is, nobody asked you to try all of them. Okay. <laughs> So my thing is this, like, don't be talking about alpha males when you're not even interested in men anymore. Res I respectfully okay. say that. So it, it, it's, it's kind of a touch, like, like you're, the question you're saying is, it's kind of like, she needs to elaborate more. That's yeah, basically she, what it she is. does. She we does. can't, we can't answer and, her question. And uh, Snow, if you're willing to sit down with me, let's talk. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Uh, caller, thank you very much. Have a blessed night. And we are out of here. Let's go. We got a couple of more minutes. Let's get it. Come okay. on. Uh, call her. I'm ready. 
Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Hey, my name is Danny, and I'm calling from Washington, D.C., baby. Washington. Danny, Washington, D.C. So that means we got people That's from right, Washington, D.C. watching? Oh, bro. Whew, like, you have no idea. So I, I talk to my coworkers out here working construction, and yes. I be tell them, putting them up on game, and they, they be asking me questions, and as soon as they watch you, they're hooked. Mm. There you go. You know what, bro? I'm going to say of this. Of course. Give me your hand, bro. Latino community. Hold on. Throw hey, the W right there. Look at hey, this, this is where we're coming from right here, right here. So go ahead, my brother. Go ahead. Give me your questions. I got I got two questions for you, right? Yes, sir. So the first one is, the first one is would you ever interview Lucky from Hoodstock? Or would you ever go to him and you guys hold it down? Well, you know, what's, you know, what's crazy, bro, that I'm glad you answered that because um, Lucky has already been on here. I don't know if you know that you, you need that. You know what? I, I must have missed it or I was fucking fucked up. OK, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, and p- p- please allow me to elaborate. I didn't know Lucky. And at the time, I think Lucky had about six thousand subscribers. And I reached out to him and I said, here's my number. Call me if you ever need anything. He called me, and I said, uh, let's bring you on the show. Yeah. So I brought him on the show, and then I said, you know what? I want my subscribers to be your subscribers. So I supported him. And uh, soon after that, he had me on his show, and I was on his show. So we supported each other. You know what? So that's pretty much, you know, how that happened. Yeah, but definitely, you can go on his podcast, Google, you know, Hoodstocks. Didn't you go twice on it? What's that? You went twice. No, right? I just went once. Oh, okay. And then he went once That's here. It. Just Google, you know, Spans, huh? uh, Lucky and Rodian Radio, and, and you'll see the podcast. But we had great interviews, bro. You, you know what? You know what? Just we, I think the community deserves another hot one as a refresher because you guys bring hot topics and a lot of good things have been trending in the media and a lot of crazy stuff. But I think you guys deserve a refresher for the community. People are asking, man, it'll 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 blow up for sure. Here's my second question. All right. You're looking a little swole, Tony, a little swole. You've literally been hitting them push-ups and curl-ups and all that shit, right? Yes, sir. With your little white beater. All right. So here's the question. If you, Lux, an American Cholo, got in the ring, who would be the last man standing? Uh, the Willie Metal. Um, you know the Willie Metal, dog. I'll answer for him. The Willie Metal will be, be the all, last one. All I'm going to say, all, all I'm going to say is this, like... Uh, all I'm going to say is this Because you know what I'm not going to disrespect my boys uh, May the best man win I understand The Willie Metal dog May the Remember best man win For shits and giggles For shits and I got, I got a C note on, on, on fucking On this word here May the best man win That's <laughs> all I'm going to say cool. But I will give you I will give you a hint I, I will give you a hint I fight South Paul So he fights I, dirty. Uh, I fight he, South Paul so, dirty uh, That's all I'm going to say I'm like Rocket Bell boy Yo you know what I'm saying? But you know what? Fucking man? sliding dirty, sliding yeah. the base. I see you. But, 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 but you know what, big dog? You know what? I love them both. And uh, um, I hope that never happened because you know what I'm saying? Love. Because we're pushing the raza yeah, forward. Yeah, because we, we haven't had to pull this table to the left, right? Not, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. But, but you know what? <laughs> almost. Bro, almost. Right. <laughs> almost. Come my way. But you know what? <laughs> Thank you for that question, big dog. Thank that was you. a good one, though. That was, I like that. That was a good yeah. one. Yeah. Like no that. doubt. No doubt. Yeah, man, it's for shits and giggles. But, you know, people want to hear entertainment. And, and, and I think uh, you guys are doing an amazing job. Look, I'll let you go. I know there's dozens of callers on the trying to line trying to get in. Yes, sir. Holler. Okay, okay, brother. Right, thank man. you. Okay, let's hang up. We'll take about a couple of more phone calls. Let's out do here. it. Let's keep going. Let's, okay. This bottle's gone. Let's go. <laughs> you said bottle's <laughs> this gone. This bottle's Caller, gone. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? <laughs> Uh, my name's Mike. I'm calling from San Diego. San Diego Ooh, in the motherfucking building. Whoa. You know, let me say this. Yeah, Tony, the wizard. Yes, sir. You know Yo, what? Um, I just want to say, uh, what do you guys think about that uh, Misfit Soto diss on YG and um, that Tiger dude? Well, you know what? I'm going to let Johnny answer that because Johnny was there at Misfit Soto's video shoot. Okay. I think that was a, it was a good, a good diss. Like, like I'm, I'm constantly saying. He did it. He did it appropriately. It wasn't. It wasn't super disrespectful because I would have been disrespectful yeah. to the tenfold. I would have been coming at his neck. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
but not not racial, just disrespectful. I would have been hella disrespectful because I love being disrespectful. But um, he did good with it, and it was a it was a good song, and um, like I appreciate it, bro. That's why I'm that's why I was a part of it, and I had to shoot up to the video, and be a part of it because um, it, some things need to be addressed, you know, and that that had to be addressed. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh, another thing about yeah, that, that's dope. But another thing about that video that really like told told those um so called mumble rappers when he presented that when he when uh, Mr. Soto um showed that video of Be- of Beach Street uh, with the Rock City Crew and New York City Breakers of the foundation of hip hop. Latino found that shit too. So yeah, yes. I don't know what that dude. Was. Yeah, like that showed it right there. Like, hey, we've been in this since day one. You the know DJs, what? The MCs, the graffiti, and the breaking. So if these guys don't know history, they shouldn't be in the hip hop. Period. You, you, you know, the, um, let me break down the four elements of hip hop. One of the elements of hip hop is rapping, b boying, which is dancing, break dancing, popping, graffiti, mm-hmm. and DJing. That's four yeah. of them. Okay, that's four of them right yeah. there. Okay, here's my thing. Okay. And, really, and I'm going to say this respectfully because me and you have both black friends. And I have black family, okay? Yeah. And oh, yeah, for, me too. For some reason, a, a lot of a lot of black people have offense when I say this. Bro, mm-hmm. Fat Joe said this. Fat, uh, he's a Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, and blacks and Latinos yeah. started hip-hop. That's where it started, yeah. blacks yeah. and Latinos, okay? We yep. are Latinos now. Whether people want to say, oh, I'm not Hispanic, I'm not... Bro, just for right now, blacks and Latinos, Okay. Name me a Mexican that doesn't yeah. hit, that never hit up graffiti. Yep. That never fucking DJ. That never fucking <laughs> rapped. Stop, bro. People want to say it's a black culture. Bro, we give that to you. But also give that to us that it's also a Latino culture. Exactly. Stop. Okay. Exactly. Yep, that's true. You know, so, so uh, uh, look, and I spoke this with uh, Cohen 87 and Cocaine. Yeah. And uh-huh. they, they have Latin, you know, Mexican people in their family, bro. And you know what? It, it, but it's yeah, only yeah. the, it's only the hating few, bro. Because yeah. we, we can't say that it, we can't speak for all black people. We cannot, like me and you cannot yeah, speak for true. all. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. But it's only the hating few. So you know, it's it's, it's it seems mm-hmm. like it's only um, it's only beneficial when it's popping. Mm-hmm. Look at um, look at reggaeton, exactly. right? Right. Yeah. Look at um, mm-hmm. um, what's him that has drinking with drinking with uh, drink champs. Drink champs, yeah. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. no, Noriega is half Latino. No, but no, they were both ha- half Latino. Yeah. So uh, when, once it became popular, all of a sudden they want to do a reggaeton, right? Yeah. You, you know, like I've got the other guy's name. Uh, not not Noriega. What's the other guy's name, bro? Uh, Capone, Capone Noriega. No, um, the, the DJ. Uh, and fuck. I, forgot. I yeah. forgot his fucking name. Yeah, but he, well, anyway, he's Cubano, yeah. if I'm correct. They're mixed, bro. They're yeah, all mixed. Uh, Tony Touch, you mean? No, not Tony Touch. Oh, I thought Tony Touch. But Tony Touch is, okay. is también Latino. Okay. I mean, yeah. You know, the, the, look, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. There was a lot of guys in there that were Puerto, Puerto Rican, bro. They're just, they're just, lat, they're Latinos, bro. It's just, you it's know, just, so it's it, at that moment, at that time, it was, um, it was a thing to be black. It was that was the industry, and that's what it was. And um, so they ran yeah. with it, and they looked black. So it, it was, it, it was what it was, bro. So now, when it when it's cool that's- to be Latino, then they're gonna fly with it. You know, it's just you yeah. have you have best of both worlds. Yeah. But I just yeah. that's what it and is. And no though. disrespect, you know what, because uh, uh we love the black culture, you know, so and when I say we love the black oh, culture, we yeah, talking about the course, music, you know. What I'm yeah, we agree we love the black culture. We have black yeah. dude, we're, we're we're like I said, like United is it's a touchy subject. We can't bump all these bro without bumping <laughs> Yeah, come on, dog. Like Come on. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. when people say, you know, I had one call. Hey, thanks for uh, taking my call, though, man, and uh, answering that question. I really appreciate it. And um, on, peace yeah. out to my uh, wife, family from Ghost Town in uh, Wilma. Hell yeah. Oh, Ghost Town. Hey, Hell yeah. Yeah, the yeah, ghost. Dude. All right, brother. Have a blessed night, man. <laughs> the Ghost. Come on. Hell it's on. Ghost, ghost Town. It's kind of like people, when they come to Scottsdale, I'm like, the Dale. The Dale. You know? Yeah. The Ghost. Chop it down. It's the Dale. Call her. Your name, where are you calling from? It's me, Box, again, man. It's the third time I called oh, third in. Third time, you had another epiphany. You had another oh, epiphany. Hey. I got it. Let's get it, G. Yeah, there you go, huh? He's drinking whiskey. How about whiskey. you call it Gloria Radio Entertainment, huh? Well, you know what? Let me you take be another. A I know. Let me take another shot of Espelon, and then maybe I'll consider it, homie. Uh, it's Rodium Sur Radio. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, huh? On the... Oh, 
Rhodium, Rhodium Sur Radio exactly, 13, exactly, homie. Exactly, homie. <laughs> you know what's crazy, bro? <laughs> oh, hold on. Here's what's, here's what's crazy. People can't even get on one time. You got on three times tonight. My G. Alex. You're, you're determined, yeah, my boy. You're That's determined. How much of a, check, all right, all right, all right, all right. Alex. So check this out. That's how much of a fan I am, Holmes. I've been supporting you from day one. As soon Thank as you, you came Carnal. out, I knew who you were, Carnal. I knew who you are. Thank you, my uh, I knew I, I I met High C back in the days when you guys were recording in Alhambra. I'm from Rosemead. That's the mm. city next door, homeboy. Mm -hmm. I used to be over there all the time. My mom's from Sangre, Holmes. I, I used to be over there all the time. Hell so, yeah. And, and I support you. I know what you do. And when you came out with, uh, when you came out with your podcast, it was like a like a like a like a back to a future shit. I was like, hey, I know that Vato, yeah. I don't know you personally, but I was like, I, I know who this Vato is, eh? He's just skinnier. You know what I'm saying? Like, He's oh skinnier. skin. Thank you, my and brother. And Vato came out with this like it is a great platform and he's putting it for the Rasa and I support you. I supported you no matter what the what with rest, uh, rest in peace to the to the Vato in San Diego, even though he ran his mouth. And the other Vato that ran his mom, yeah. but I was like, nah, you know, that's a solid camarada right there. Eh? Like, hell no, he can talk shit about my homeboy like that. Thank I was going to go to Guerra for that shit. Thank you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I cleared his name. Check this out, man. From these lames. Tony A. Entertainment. Oh, damn, huh? Tony I, 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 Entertainment. I need a record, dude, huh? How much you can give me a front? <laughs> how, how much you can give me you a front? You got to spit that 16, dog. <laughs> Until then. I don't know, homie. Oh, good, Carnal. <laughs> you need hey, that 16. Right, right, right. John, here's hey, what we're going to do, I Carnal. I think too short said it best. I get paid to rap, homes. I get oh, paid to rap. I'll give, you 20, I'll give you $20 <laughs> if you spit a 16, bro. Yeah. Send me your cash app after, homie. 20 oh, bucks right oh. now. Hey, I don't even know what that is. Uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, fuck you're your PayPal, right. dog. I'm letting my mouth go to the For PayPal, since you're beat out, no. Gracias, Carnal. We got to let you go because we got other calls. Muchas gracias. Thank you for that. Gang, gang. Yes. Oh shit! There you go. I like that. Thank you for that call, I homie. Like that Tony shows you sipping. Nah, I mean, so. drop some shit over, homie. You know what's up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's up, Don? What's up? What's okay. up, Don? Who's next? Okay, we got somebody right here. Calling this thing. Yo, caller. Where you calling from? What's your name? What's up, Tony? This is Carson again, homie. Oh. What's up, homie? Carson. What's Carson, bro, uh, the Harbor hey, area in the up, building. Brother? What's your name? I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. Try, what's baby. your question, bro? Hey, brother, I wanted to ask you, man. What? Did, any more word of a uh, it's a rich rock or a fucking Frank Lee? You know, you know what? Maybe you can answer that because let me tell you something. I talk, I talked to uh, Esa Daz, and I, 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 every time I talk to Esa Daz, I always ask him. Any word from Esa Rich Rock, and he goes, No, nothing. No, if if, if he would have heard from Esa Rich Rock, I would have definitely heard. I would have definitely been there to hear from him. Yeah. So right now, it's, there's no no info on him, dog. It's, um, he's out there just living his life, dog. I don't know what to say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I, I never met him before, which, right, which I wish right. I would have. Yeah. Because I came in right after, like, right the second generation. Right. But I haven't met him yet. So hopefully he's all right out there. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, Those two fools right there, man. Especially the SRE truck, dog. I heard that fool like eight years old, dog, back on the south side of writers uh uh tapes. Okay. So uh yeah, man. Much love, brothers. Oh, oh good, not good. Have a good one. And thank you for calling. Right, let's go, call her, let's yeah, go, man. call her. Much love, brothers. Hell oh, yeah. Good. Call her, let's go. Okay, let's go. Call her your name, where you calling from? Call her, let's go. Hey, what's up, Tony A? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? What's your name? Where you calling from? This is Derek Mallory from uh St. Paul, Minneapolis. Oh, shit. Minneapolis. Derek up, Mallory. Hold on, Derek. Before you say anything, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. I'm going to school my boy Johnny real quick. Is that cool? Let's school it. School it. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Derek, yeah, I, I see yeah. your show. Derek Come Mallory Let's go. is the guy. I don't, no, I need to tell everybody on YouTube. Oh, my God. Let's get it. Derek Mallory is the guy that hit up B-Real on Dr. Green Thumb and said, would you ever consider going on Rodian and Radio and B Road did an answer. He was like this, and um, Eric Bobby goes, Probably not. That's what started up the whole thing. Oh, the, the Roma, the drama. So that's when Derek Mallory started it. But you know what? Derek Mallory, Derek Mallory, thank you. I'm gonna tell you this, bro. Next time you're in LA, I'm gonna pick you up. You're gonna be on Rodian Radio, and I'm gonna try to have B Real here with you. Hell yeah, I want to be here too. All right, bro. hell yeah, Sounds good. yeah. 
What's good? good? What's good, Derek, man? What's good, brother? Not much. Just sitting here, just watching this um, this podcast. Hey, you know what? This I is really the first time it. we talked, Watch bro. It. This is the first time we talked. Huh? I said, I believe. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is the first time we talked. Mm-hmm. Much love, my uh, brother. I got a question for you. Yes, sir. I got a question for you. Is there any chance you can get JT from N2 Deep? Oh, for an shit. interview. No, you know what? He was booked already, bro. It's, it's funny when people ask me this. He was booked like a year mm-hmm. and a half ago. And he said, yeah, I could be there on this date. Yeah, he's hard, man. So uh, about a week before we posted up the flyer, we messaged him and right. asked him, hey, are we still good? And he never answered. Damn it. What the fuck? So we yeah. told you that right yeah, there. Yeah, so dude. we messaged him again. Never answered. So we just said, fuck it, let's Cancel him. Let's go with somebody else. There's a lot of rappers like that. I don't know if he was busy. I don't know if he changed his number, you know, or what. But yeah, oh, we he's be, doing his life thing, you know. So we've been trying to get him on. Uh, what Sorry. about um Brown Boy? <laughs> oh shit! I got a nice story about Brown Boy. You ready for it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, you know, this is what I love about these calls with the wizard because I get to, like, you know, tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I can be your soup, man. <laughs> you know, one thing. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Man. You, you know, one thing. One oh. th- this is like uh, reality TV right now. Okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Brown Boy uh, went ahead and uh, hit me up. He hit me up and said, uh, I want to do an interview. Okay, cool. We booked him. Right. About a week before his interview, he canceled. He had something to do. He had a show, cool, whatever. And I said like this: any artist that cancels on me, just can't. I, I like I won't book you again. Now, there's been people that ask, "Can I be rescheduled because something came up with my yeah, family, yeah, yeah. Or whatever?" Cool, but he just canceled. And I just said, "Cool, whatever, bro. I'm not going to book you again." So months later, I'm going to say maybe about four months later, he kept hitting me up. Like, you got June 16th open, you got, you know, July yeah. open. And I'm like, am I supposed to cater to you? Like, who are you, bro? Yeah, oh, well, wow. Well, didn't you get a flat tire? <laughs> yeah, like, like, hold on, hold on, I'm going there. Okay. Look, keep in mind, bro. Spencer. One thing about this new, these 2000 millennial rappers, a lot of them, they have the sense of entitlement. Like, I could just hit up these old fools. and Nah, bro, I paved the way for you to eat. Okay? I was one... Of the guys. So so he hits me up and he goes, I, I really want to be on Rodian Radio because I just signed to Capone's label again. And uh, I, I'm in high power and we're coming out with a new album and I want to do this and I want to do that. And I'm cool, whatever. So he's the only guy that I ever said, fuck it, I'll book you. Let's yeah, go. It's been cool, okay. buddy. Yeah. Been Six cool, months buddy. later after his cancellation. So and then I'm waiting for him. It's 6 45, 15 minutes before we go live. We go live at seven yeah. Pacific Standard Time. He sends me a picture of uh, uh and I still have the picture because I still have to have text messages <laughs> in case anybody wants to see him. Okay. <laughs> and he says, um You're toxic, Esse. Yeah. He says, um, I got a flat tire. So he sends me a picture of a spare tire on his car. That's cute. I'm in Esperia. Now, Esperia, how far? Hour and a half? Give or take, hour and a half, right? Okay. Yep. That's with traffic, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm in Esperia. Now, we're supposed to go live in 15 minutes. He goes, I'll keep you posted because I got a flat tire. I'm waiting for the tow truck. Here's my thing. How many people get a flat tire and call a tow truck? Johnny, answer that. How many people get a flat tire and call for a tow truck? Ah, uh, shit! If you're not but a female, okay. There you go. There you go. So here's my. So he sent me a picture of a spare on his tire. Yeah. I mean, on his car. I'll keep you posted. That's you know, accurate. You know, I'm like I'm good with this dude. So I called Cujo. We got twenty six thousand views off yeah. of Cujo's interview. Yeah. Okay. So you Scratch know what, Cujo? You know one thing right there. If Brown Boy ever wants. Like another interview, bro. I'm not gonna disrespect you, but here's my thing, bro. I can I cannot book you again. You got you got to remember too, though. Like when you come to when you come to the neighborhood, 
when you come to Tony A's uh, Rodium Radio, you're you're solid. You're not gonna get hurt. You're not you're nothing not, but love, nothing but hugs. You know what I'm saying? I'm only a phone call away. And um, but Johnny, yeah, he was the only. And Derek, he was the only rapper that said, "Hey, yeah. is, is it cool to pull up in your neighborhood?" And I go, exactly. "Why?" He goes, "I'm not gonna get out of my car and get stabbed, am I?" He was the only rapper that asked hey, me that. Hey, and back like, in the, back in the days when I was when I was signed to Pocus Bay Locals, there was a lot of motherfuckers that didn't want to come here. Right, I understand that. There but was here, down didn't want to be over here. Right, but here there was a lot of fools that didn't want to fucking want fucking come here. And I told, like told them they're guy? solid. I told them they're solid. Come here because I'm here. Right. Cause you're protected. Yeah, you're good, mm. dog. Like you're more fucking good than me. Mm. Is that the fuck, bro? Like, don't but be he, a bitch and just come down. He here was and get the only cracking. rapper, and I said it this, bro. You got protection. Don't worry. Well, I don't want to get stabbed. Nah, I don't want to get. And I'm like, bro. I hold your Tony. Hold your hand and walk you in. I'm like, bro. You're supposed to be Superman. Yeah. I don't care. Right. You know? I can be so, your Superman. Superman. So here's my thing. So like. Uh, that's it, bro. That's it. So brown. That's the brown boy story, and that's why I love calling. We're gonna call him Pink Boy for now. I'm Pink Boy. So Pink I, Boy, I, I, I hey, Tony. Can, yes, sir. Is there any chance for you to get um Cosme in there? Who's that? Oh, Cosme. Cosme. That's the homie. Yep. I don't see why not. I, I, wait, I'll wait, reach out to him. Trying, who's that? Cosme. He he did a lot of shit with um with Night Out back in the days. If you could hook it yeah. up, let's do it. I hooked it up. He's a dope ass singer. He did okay. a lot of shit with me and Daz back in the days too. Hey, 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 Derek, I gotta ask you, bro. Right. I, got a, I got a question for you. Are you an Afro Latino or are you just a black man? Just a black man. The, the reason why I ask you this is because you love a lot of the fucking like Chicano rap, bro. Yep. Like everybody, like you know, any I, rappers I like. You know, for a long time. You know what? To me, that the reason why I ask, and I ask that out of respect, Carnal. Uh, I just trip out on that. The, here we have a black man that loves our culture, that loves our music. You know, and it, it's a blessing, yep. bro. It's a blessing, bro. So I'm going to say this, Derek Mallory, you are a blessing, bro. Okay. Thank you. So whenever you come to LA, I, I, I want to yep. invite you on my on my motherfucking show, bro. You're going to be here, and you're going to be drinking with me. You good with that? Yes, sir. Okay, Man, my I'm brother. I'm good. Yeah. All right, my brother. You stay blessed, and we'll talk soon. You too. Okay. Talk to you soon. All right. Dude, bro, that's fucking... <laughs> from Minneapolis? Come on, That was bro. good. That was good, yes, my sir. G. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Carnal, where are you calling from, and what's your name? Hello. Yes, sir. Where are you calling from, and what's your name? How you doing? I'm Austin from San Diego. Monstro. Oh, shit. Monstro. What's good? Uh, much Monstro. love to San. Much love to San Diego, bro. Thank you, thank you, man. Just wanna, just wanna give a shout out to Tony A and see what's up. See if I can speak to him. All good, Canal. You, you had a question or a comment? Can you please turn down your TV because we can hear you the, the background? Yeah, I just, I just did. I just, I just turned it. I just turned it off. All good. Canale. I got it on, but I got the vacuum down. Yes, sir. You got a question, comment, or this? I just, you know, want, want to speak on, uh, I guess, uh, the brown and black issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, other stuff about, uh, you know, uh, Little One in Shadow. I guess, uh, you know, not uh, responding back to Tony A and stuff like that. So this is, this is uh, I'm also, man. I'm all over San Diego, so I know what's up down here. You know what I mean? I got nothing but love and respect for Tony A. Thank you, my brother. I greatly appreciate you. You know what? And like I said, I, I wouldn't mind having a little one of Shadow back here. Yeah. I have no beef with those guys, bro. I really don't. I understand them, oh, yeah. you, you know, sticking up for Night Owl. I, I, do, I, I get that, bro. But I was I'm, starting I'm, I'm to... I'm on the air. Well, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking to Tony A, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's, that's, what's up. that's what's up. And I just said, I didn't mean to cut you off, man. I just uh, recognize your voice. Check it out, man. I'm Big Monstro. I'm from San Diego, homie, from Watchtown. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard about me, but, uh, you know, Night I made a couple of diss songs on me, put me out there on blast. But you know what? This bottle right here, I didn't hide from no one, homie. I didn't, I didn't move from no one. Still here. I'm still rocking the big SD all the way to Willie Mike, talking up the W, showing them the love to Tony A. Thank you, Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully one day, man, I, I can chop it up to you in person. 
But it, it's a shock right now that actually when I called right now that, yeah, you picked up the phone and talking to you. And you the know, people that are listening, the yes. listener, do me a favor, Do you, me man. a favor, bro. Uh, um, hit me up on my DM and uh, I'll get you on here. Okay? Yeah. I, I, have, I have no DM for now. I have no DM to pick it up. I, I got this number. I'll hit you up later and I'll leave you a message. You don't have to pick up. I'll leave you a message. We'll go from there. No, no. You know what, Alex? Deal. Can you put my Gmail up? Please. Uh, you know what? Because I don't check these messages, bro. So I'm going to go ahead and put my That's email on my email. Por yeah, favor. It's radio yeah. at gmail.com. Hit me up there. Leave me your number and I'll call you, bro. Rhodium Radio yeah, at gmail.com. Yeah, let, let, let me say this. Let me say this. Man, we all have we all have beef with Night Out, man. A lot of people have beef with Night Out. Shut up, man. I'm 45 years old. Man. You know? Um, my my neighborhood, right here. I'm still right here. Matter of fact, people say, where are you from? I say, I ain't, I ain't from nowhere. And then they're like, what do you mean? And they're like, aren't, aren't you from Watson? I said, yeah, I, I am walked down on me, you know? So I got a family tree. My uncle, my tias, my tio. We got our lovers. We got our haters. I get that. I check that out, man. Uh, when night out, when I heard about when night out passed, regardless of that, I to keep me underneath the bus, I'll tell you this right now. I took nothing but flowers to his house, knocked on his door. Well, actually to his mom and mom, mom and uh, dad's house in Spring Valley. Respect. Give him his flowers, homeboy. Absolutely, you know, you know what? Yeah. Because that's that's what Rasa respect. does. We show love, and we show respect, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, not all of us, homie. Not all of us. You know, you got to be a real man to accept when when someone does something foolish towards you, and, and it was foolish. It was just a foolish act. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, I still gotta keep pushing my music. I'm underground. I love being underground. You know, it's all from the trunk. Hopefully one day I make it big. I hit that that punchline or whatever. But uh, shout out to uh, Johnny D right there. Oh yeah, Check him out on the screen. And uh, yeah, man, Boston uh, homeboy. That's Absolutely, who I am, bro. San Diego, the big SG right here, all the way to Weedmont. And uh, right. I, I know you always say I watch your show a lot, Tony A. You always say, "Hey, what's the face of Chicano rap?" Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been putting I've been putting my face on Chicano rap with the for a long time, for not, and you know what? All these Chicano rappers—they're afraid. Of, they're afraid to say they're Chicanos. They're afraid to say they're. Uh, oh, I'm underneath the umbrella, Chicano rap. But check it out, man! You got to be one down vato for your culture, for your people to say you're Chicano. I'm first generation Chicano. My jefitos from Tijuana. My my mother's from Tijuana. So you know what's up with that, man? We come from the Mexican side. We're Mexicanos. I'm Mexicano, but I'm first generation Chicano. I'm still here, homeboy. Absolutely. I'm still here putting my music, you know, and, and I appreciate you took my call, Tony. I appreciate it. And, and I, you know, I made a Wilma song. If they go to Wilma's, one day hey, you'll hear it. Hell yeah. Uh, hey, it's going to be exposed, homie. Let's do a remix, homie. There, you know what I mean? Straight up. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries, homie. It, it, it's all love. It's all love. But all this brown and black stuff that's going on. I got a couple of rollers out there from me and they're, they're on the work. People are going to hear about it. And um, maybe you guys haven't heard about me, man, but it's all right. At least right now, today, I get my shine, my flowers on oh, my yeah. own, my own time. And, and uh, if anybody wants any thongles, franktats.com, that's my deal, Bandito. Shouts out American Me, shouts out Boulevard Nights, shouts out Jenny Little Paz, shouts out to uh, Little Puppet, you know. Just a family connection, man. East LA, all the way to San Diego, and the my All, all good, so, bro, my brother. So, yeah. You know what? My, my, uh, my Gmail was up on the screen. So if you go back, please hit me up, and I'm gonna uh, bring on my show, bro. Okay. Uh, That's the no worries, and, 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 and we'll definitely chop it up. We'll bring this more to life. Uh, our, our Chicanos, our brown people, our Mexican people. We need to line up. We need to stand up with the brown. Yes. Like the brown brazen that, that you yeah. had up there. That, the compa that, that, that stood up for the Brown Braves back in the days, hey, they paved the way for us. It's like you you did your part, you paid the way for us, Tony A. And I thank you for that. You deserve flowers on me every day when someone remembers your part of, of, of the music with the Moreno. And, and you did your part as a Mexicano. You did your part, and I, and I appreciate that. Thank you. And I hope brother. when you hear one of my messages, 
when you hear one of my mixes and you hear that wing mark and the homie right there sipping on that whiskey oh, yeah. I'm down with the whiskey that wild turkey homeboy I don't play wild turkey my you know, G hell me. yeah Jameson or fucking Pendleton G all day thank you Colonel. Oh, yeah. just catching my Pendleton sipping on the Pendleton hell the yeah hell yeah <laughs> I'm on right, fucking two hundred dollar penalty. Bless night, bro. Hell yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't okay, let's go. All right, hold on one second. All right, we gotta make a quick phone call because this person really wants to get on the air. Let's and, get uh, it. Let's get it. Nah, I mean, let's go. Nah, I mean. And I'm co-producing her record, so I gotta give a promo. Prom promo. Promo. Uh, uh, promo. Promo. Yes. Hello. Hola, Kenes. Hello? Kenes. Hello? Hello, Kenes. Kenes. Kenes is who? Way. This is Tony A. Way. This is Tony oh. A. And you know what? Uh, I recognize that voice. And that's the magic girl from Baker. Representing Bakersfield. Bakersfield, the motherfucking building. Yeah. Hey, so. you know what? I thought you were the pizza guy. I just ordered some pizza and it's fucking late. Oh, oh, for real? Like, like yeah. was that a pizza con todo or just pepperoni? Yeah, no, con todo. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Combination. It's, it's all good. Uh, uh, Magic Girl, have you been listening to this whole interview? I have, actually, except I took a small break to order my pizza, but I have. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So did you get to hear uh, Memory Controllo's uh, call, phone call? I did, and you know you know what? I, I want to commend... Um, American Cholo for what he's doing for the culture yes. and also for educating my generation. Yes. Um, it's, it's really hard to, um, explain. I think you, maybe you'll understand a little bit, a little bit more of what I'm talking about. I mean, you and I have worked together. You've interviewed me a couple of times. Yes. Um, we seem to understand each other. What, as far as it comes down to respect, you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, personally and the way the streets run and all that stuff you know i i grew up around nothing but og so my brain is nothing but 80s and 90s fucking you know rules and get down now we get to the 2000s and my generation there's nothing wrong i mean i'm not trying to knock nobody down but as far as the way the way my generation conducts themselves sometimes like it just fucking confuses me what what's your it, generation by if you don't mind me asking. I I am uh, 95, so I'm still considered. You're not a 2000 baby, right? No, I'm not a 2000 okay. baby. So, I, yeah, so I kind of just talk shit on myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that generation so, right above you is like, God, you know. Yeah, like it's yeah. kind of confusing, you know, like they're, they're so they're so after like, I want to fit in. I want to be popular. I want to be this and that, nah, you know. Yeah. I want to turn they, my head. Could, I want to turn to yeah. the left and not and not see what the fuck's going on. That's exactly. basically what it is. They, yeah, they completely ignore they completely for, ignore and don't see, you know, um, the message behind a lot of this stuff. You get what I'm saying? Of, of the way they, they say things, they do things like it. It, it can be a, a, a very negative subliminal message to a lot of people. And um, but um, going back to Gil, um, I really appreciate him for actually educating you know, a lot of people who are not, you know, in the loop and don't stay stuck on their phone all day. Um, but, and well, you know what, it, you know what it is magic is that a lot of your generation love and look up to Tiger, his music, you know, I don't, but okay. No, no, I, I understand that. <laughs> I, I, I know you don't, but uh, uh, my thing is a lot of your generation look up to Tiger and like, they like that. What, what was that one song? Um, uh, Rack City. Like that uh, was like his first bitch. hit, rack, rack on your titties, oh, bitch, or some yeah. shit. But you know what? Like, like <laughs> you know. And here's my thing. Like, that's where he gained this crowd. I get it, okay. But yeah. and that's your generation. And but you being of that generation, you don't look up to that. Like, see, and that's the crazy thing, Johnny, is because here we have a female that was born ninety five. She's lived through the through the two thousands. Through the generation that we've like said, like we don't like their shit, she's listened to it and she said, "I don't like it because she has an older state of mind." Yes, 
So she's yeah, like a generation but, befi- before her generation. Yes. So yeah, like, I've under- tried it and I don't get it. You know, I just, it's a, it just isn't fucking like, I still don't understand it. And I try that, to understand But that's, like, that, that, that's the shit? generation of now, like, they're like, oh, wow, well, well, who gives a shit? Why are you worried about it? Why are you, why, why, why are you even saying anything? Who cares? Yeah, just let it be. You know? Why we say shit and why we continue to, to address shit like that, like, like Tiger Song. Is because if we let it happen, it's going to continue to happen yes. and even get exactly. worse yes. than what it is. Because he looks at it like, fuck, like these fools are a fucking joke. They're like not going to say shit. They're pussy. So we're not going to say they're not going to say none. They're going to buy it. They're going to they're going to say, keep the unity going. Right. And enjoy yeah. it. They're going to buy our merch. They're going to yeah. buy our tickets. Fuck yeah. They're going to support us. Hey, yeah. You know what? Speaking of pussy, let's change the subject. I yeah. also heard <laughs> Talk I also about it. heard um the snow the product question. Yes. And what 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 she she said something about that um it, like pretty much just you know uh, a, a man can't laugh at another man's joke. Like what the fuck was that about? I have no idea. Uh, like did it like did it make sense to you cuz it didn't make sense to me. I, at I didn't want I didn't want to like, touch on it too much cuz I haven't heard it. Right. But right. but like but like like in general, like she's a whole different breed. She has she's her own person. She has her own um like what she's about in her life. Her lifestyle is totally different than what's going on. So yeah. so we so really I'm, can't I'm we can't really Yeah. I I, I would I would go in. If I knew the if I knew the subject, I would go in on it, no problem, but I don't know. So Yeah. 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 I think that's kinda of about like alphas and betas and then you well, know, all that stuff. You, so I was like, well, that doesn't make no sense. You, you know? know, you know, you know, magic. Let me say this and tell me if I have a somewhat of a point. And this and this is between you, magic and Johnny. Okay, here's my thing. Okay. If you're into girls and you got a girlfriend, my thing is this: like, maybe you shouldn't be talking about alphas or betas because you don't like either. You're a, no, I, I, I absolutely a agree. I mean, you've <laughs> obviously got it all wrong. You know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> if, if you got a girl. And yeah. you know you 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 speak know, on chocha chocha, dude. Yeah, you know, speak on that. Yeah, here's my thing. Right. Don't, you know, here's my thing. They, a lot of women that are into women say, I don't like men. I don't want to fuck with them. Then don't use strap-ons. Don't use dildos. Uh, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, exactly. If you don't like dudes, don't act oh, like a dude. Shit. Yeah. Don't act like a vato, yeah. right? If you don't like dudes, don't act like a dude. Well, it's different. We can adapt it. We can make it bigger and smaller. <laughs> oh my god so all good all good whatever <laughs> all right Anyways. magic thank you Fucking Tony. thank you for calling hey johnny yeah hey johnny tell your boy to make us a beat which one uh, the one in front of you this fucking vato bin <laughs> trying to make a beat for me for like 20 years i'm gonna say i'm mr d so he can make me a beat <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Híjole. All right, we gotta go. We yeah, gotta yeah. go. Ah, <laughs> magic, you have a blessed night. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Bye. All right, let's go. Come, oh, we got a couple of more minutes. Let's call caller. Nah, let's no see. minutes out to the bottle's done, dog. You know what's up? No, fuck that. <laughs> uh, uh, where are you calling from? What's your name? No nah, no minutes out to the bottle. No, my way. Caller. Caller. I'm gonna come. Three, one, two. Let's go. All right, let's go. Caller, where are you calling from? And what's your name? Call her. Come on, my G. Come on, speak up, G. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Uh, Tony, finish. You finish Hello? your shit, G? Fuck, I hung up on his ass. Wow. All right, fuck it. You finish your bottle? No, Is no, I'm still good. I'm still good. Uh, hold you hold on. Port? Let's get another shot. Hold on. Call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? <clears throat> Call her. Fuck it. Alex, I'm going to do the Bluetooth shit again. Hold on. Flutu, yeah, that Bluetooth, the Flutu, yeah, that Bluetooth way. Get okay, broadcast up, bam. Damn, you got Let's fucking uh, Obama phone or what? The no, fuck, bro? No. See, <laughs> okay. <laughs> caller, where are you calling from, and what's your name? Caller, caller, which where are you calling from? What's your name? <laughs> caller, <laughs> caller, my dick in your ear. My dick's in your mouth. Okay, let's go. And your wife's holding it. Let's get, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, you, now, yeah. Call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? 
Call her. Yeah. Alex, I'm going to do the Bluetooth thing again, okay? Yeah, yeah, because I heard something. Okay, here we go. Bam. Worldcaster. And it says, uh, connected. Done. Call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Toma way. Call her. What's up, guys? Big John Dye from the Call her. Gang banging. Here we go. Representing. One more time. Call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Ah, oh, shit. Call her. Are you trying to kick the show out, Tony? Bro, I, I swear. <laughs> You're trying to kick it out? Like, Let's hey, go, hey, Alex, I'm going to do a YouTube. I mean, the, the fucking. I'm right, trying to kick it out. Here we go right here. Are you trying to kick about the water? I'm not, bro. For, I, I promise you. Come on, you. dog. Like, let's get these fucking callers. Here we on. go right here. Hey, ain't nobody from the hood calling, too. What's up? Call her. Call her. Kick it out. Here we go right here. Oh, shit. Call her. Caller, you're behind. I hear your fucking your Bluetooth, homie. Okay, let me see. Exit. Hold on. I see Gil calling again. I'm going to call him. Call that fucking vato, man. What's up? Gil. <laughs> Tony. Is this oh, you, Gil? <laughs> fucking Gil. Hey, Tony. Yes, sir. I don't know, homeboy. I think I can take you, buddy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't it. know, Tony, homie. You can use that south part. You might be taller than that, but I think I can take you, homeboy. I think we can do this. You know what I would do? You know what I would do to you, Gil? He'll take, it, a, he'll take a steroid. No, here's what I would, <laughs> here's what I would do, Gil. Get yeah, up, what you got, Tony? After eating a bowl of menudo... I would just bum rush you and hug you and kiss you in your hey, fucking no, neck. No, no, no. Just, just take a blue chew and then just hug him no, and, no, and, and let him know what time no. it is. <laughs> I would just hug you and so be like, "Yo, down or one? Te quiero, cabrón." Hey, huh. You know, what hey, bro, this was this was a great podcast, man. It, it was it was very fun. It was educational. Shout out to Magic Girl also, and uh, I just want to tell you guys, man, good stuff, man, good conversation. Thank you, Carnal. Hey, I gotta Thank get on you. your shit pretty soon, dog. What's up? Yes, sir. So, you, you know, hey, homie, we 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 running up some some bookings right now, man. You hit me up and we'll set it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Absolutely. Hey, hey, Tony, but but I got you, homie. I got you, homie. All Let's right, do it. Much <laughs> love, Later, brother. Stay blessed. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. That was Gil. My boy Gil ain't got Tony, dog. Let's go. Let's go. He's a wheel metal. Let's dog. go. He's good. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? Hello. Yes, sir. We are here. Hello? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? If you got to say hello, fuck it. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay hold on. Hello? Call Alex, I'm going to reconnect. Hello? Alex. Rollcaster right there, blah, blah, blah. He's going to call back like, what's up, Ashley? Where there you from, go. Nah? You're like, order lane. Caller, where are you calling from <laughs> and what's your name? Caller, where are you calling from and what's your name? Oh, shit, there you go. Turn on your TV, bro, but I can barely hear you. Turn on your TV, bro, but I can barely hear you. Oh, shit. It's just like two, like a two seconds behind, that's it. Oh, shit. What's up, homeboy? I can barely hear you, bro. It's big John Don from the barrio, Don. He hung up. <laughs> oh, let's go. We got a couple of more phone calls, carnal. Damn, we fucking... What's good? Uh, we trying to keep What's your going, number? And, uh, what's your number? Uh, what's your name? What's your, what's your name? What's your number? What's your sign, dog? What's so? up? <laughs> he just hung up. Here we go, another one. I think it's Alex's fault. Caller, where are you calling shit. from? And what's your name? Pinche Alex, dog. He's doing some real shit over here. Caller. He's sabotaging. Caller. <laughs> He's sabotaging everything. Caller. Caller, my fucking. My chorizo's in your mouth. Hello? You want to say what? Caller. Hey. What's your name? Where are you calling from? <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck, man. Come on. Call her. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's keep, hold on. Call her. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Oh, sorry, hello. Sorry, I was cracking. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, is this Tony? Yes, sir. Hey. This hello. is Tony? Yes. This is Tony? <laughs> yes, sir. And Johnny? 
Oh, yeah, what's up, Q? Hey, man, um, <clears throat> you know why it's fucking up? It's because um, I can't hear you for shit on my side. It's fancy. <laughs> let's go, dog. Let's go. Is. What's your question, my G? But a- anyways, huh? But anyways, huh? Nah, I, I, I kind of don't have a question. Maybe I'll come up with one right now, but I just want to get props to both of you, Apple. Gracias, homie. Nothing but love, dog. Tony A from the beginning, homie, since day one. And homie Johnny. Oh, yeah. Fly, always been one of my favorite groups, homie. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you. Tony appreciates you no matter what. Brody absolutely. Brady. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. So, um, I mean, probably next time I had a question, you know, but. Nah, hey, just, just shoot lines. the shit, dog. Right, What's fuck, up? Man? Shoot the shit, dog. Say what you're on your mind, dog. <laughs> Anything, homie. Shoot, shoot Run it shit. up. I can, I can hear you because I'm putting the TV low. Yeah. I'm my phone. I can't hear nada. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever, whatever you're feeling, dog, just say, what you, say what's oh, on your bro. mind, dog. What's your question, bro? But, uh, uh, man, uh, no questions right now. Well, but, uh, the sky nah, is blue, I'm dog, but the body was red. Step forward for the Rafa. <laughs> you, you and Gil, American Cholo. Thank you, bro. That's tight. However you feel, homie. That's cool. Whatever. You know, that's good. That's good. Line. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, have a good one, right? Please. All good, my bro. Thank you, my bro. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for being a part of the show. Okay, cool, whatever. Hold on, let me see, let me hold on. I gotta call somebody real fast. And this is my good friend. You're gonna hear about Bella's manager, Erica. Okay. Hopefully she answers. See, how come she hasn't fucking got Spanish Fly on the fucking roster? We're going to ask her right now. Exactly, dog. That's the... <laughs> she heard the question. She heard the question. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that fool. I'm not going to ask her, dog. You're tripping, that's it. Fuck them lames. Right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, straight up. <laughs> How's the comments, man? Hello. Erica. <laughs> what's up, Tony? Erica, you're my girl. So uh, what's your question? I got my boy Johnny D in the motherfucking what's building. What's cracking? Uh, if, if you just want to comment on it, Erica, you already know I'm not going to tell you no, so go ahead and ask me whatever. I just want to say, actually, I just want to say big props to you guys and everything that you guys got going on and the show with the American Cholo and everything that you guys got, you know, um, putting out there and stuff. That I think that it deserves some attention and shit. So big props for that. Um, so I wanted to ask, what's up with Gobble Gobble? Oh, Gobble 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 with Gobble Gobble. Shit. Well, you already know, Erica, that she's listening right now because she lost and uh, <laughs> she's hurting right now, and she's probably under her bed, but punching air. You know what I'm saying? Like her, like her God. life is over. You know, because you can't go around spreading fucking like false allegations on people no. and expect to win. You know what I'm saying? But what did we tell the bitch from start, though, from jump? What was the first fucking message that we sh- we told her? Like from jump. Avocado Don't party? fucking lie. Yes. yes. Avocado party, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, don't fucking lie. Don't, is that what it is? Salsa? Don't try it, bitch. <laughs> Don't try it. Avocado salsa. And you know, you know it's funny, Erica. Let, let's be honest about this person. That this person will talk shit online, but she saw you plenty of times in person and never said nothing. Too many fucking times. Too many times. And so, too many ahead. fucking times. And I told you once, I told you two times, I told you three times. When I see that bitch, it's on site. And I'm a fucking drag that bitch, and I'm a wait for the fucking hoodah. Like, what's up? Exactly. Oh, you, you're gonna definitely wait for the hoodah. It's on live. <laughs> yeah. It's on live. Yeah. So hey, record that shit. And, and most likely, Erica, you know, she's gonna go ahead and, and repost this and say that it was premeditated, and uh, Tony A sent her, and blah blah blah. Here's my thing: you can't. You know, your puppy eyes and your soft voice and your fake titties aren't gonna fool everybody every time. You know, nobody mm-hmm. likes really girlfriend. No, no. Nobody likes girlfriend no more, bro. Yeah. 
So I don't like Garfield. <laughs> she she see Erica, Erica. She seen you plenty of times in person, and never said anything. Yes, bitch. Like look down. Hey, like, Erica. No. Erica, you got a book, a Spanish Fly, Johnny D. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. You got a book that shit. Hey, hey, jo- hey Johnny. Shit. Let, me, let me tell you something, Johnny. Erica, I'm gonna say this. Hey, I was. Hey, Tony, Tony. Yes. I've been telling Tony. Tony, we gotta do a fucking show, bro. We gotta dude, do something, dude. Yeah, if, if you get a show cracking, I, I, I guarantee you're gonna fucking you're gonna shit yourself. That's how we get down, homie. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Um, no, wait a minute. Shit. Do I want to shit myself? I don't know. That, that's your, you know. Like I just that. hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's my thing. One thing about Erica is like, Erica's in it to win it, and Erica's in it to win, to make money. So she books you it. is because she truly believes. It's all in you. about first impression, bro. Yes, it's all about what you can create, what you, what you do. If you if you get the opportunity to do it, yeah, and you show your ability and what you're what you yeah. what you're creating, it 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 it'll, it'll fucking blow people's minds. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something on the spot in front of Erica. Let's go. Are you willing to do Hi. a show with the Animines? What? Are you willing to do a show with the Alan without Animines? We've been doing shows with any means. Okay, let's go. We do shows with any means. We do shows let's without go. any means. You know, it's not about it's not about that. It's just at the moment at the time. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. That'll Yeah. No, that's real <laughs> shit. Like it is what it is. I know. No, it's not no disrespect. It's a homie. That's my boy. But hey, sometimes he can't make it. Sometimes not we taking, do what I gotta do what I gotta do. And not taking no credit away from him. I mean, he's dope and everything, but just like business wise, it just doesn't work. Oh there yeah, that's that's yeah, that's some personal shit. But yeah, I hear you, I hear you. But um, no, but we we've been doing shit. Like, <laughs> we keep it. <laughs> let's fucking get. Yeah. Let's yeah, go. We, local, we do our thing, so we we keep yeah. shit going. You know, you know absolutely, it, it Erica. Is is. Hey, Erica, uh, you got me on Saturday because I I think I'm about to show up. Pull up, I got you and Johnny. Pull up, you guys. Yeah, yeah, me and you, go. Johnny. Me and yeah. you, Johnny. Just pull up. All right. All good. Yep. We'll see you. Thank you, Erica, for the phone All call. Right, much love, you much guys. respect. Uh, much love. Erica, I'm going to say this in front of Johnny right here. I never tell Erica no. I can tell. <laughs> I never tell Erica no. All right, Erica. You have a blessed night. Somebody's going to take that the wrong way, bro. Uh, right. yeah, well, yeah. I don't give up. I took it the Let's wrong get way. It. No. Let's get it. No, no. It's oh, not is right. that right, dog? Is that right, Pedro? <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> business. <laughs> Let's get a good thing, you guys. Good have, shit. A, have a blessed night. Right. Front Street. Get it. Okay, let's go. We got somebody right here. Caller. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Caller. I'm going to come to three. One. Hey, take a private two, call. I want to hear that shit. Three. Private call? Those fools that they be trying to talk shit, right? Oh you, mean, oh, you mean a private? Yeah, 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 I love that private shit. Fuck these lanes, dog. Let's hear it. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? <laughs> what? Caller. Yeah. Caller. Hello? Yes. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Yes. What's your name or where are you calling from? Hello? You're live on the air. Call her. Bro, what the fuck? Like, hold on. Alex, I'm going to try to log in again. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. Whatever. Call her. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Rulecaster. We got it done. Call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Done it. Done. Call her. Hello. Caller. What's up? Hello. What's Tony. your What's your name? Where you calling from, bro? Turn turn, d- turn down your TV, bro. <laughs> he's trying. He's doing. He's doing it. He's working on it. Don't look. Yeah, at, I'm calling from Dallas. Dallas, Dallas, oh, Texas. Oh shit. Fuck the Cowboys. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> From Dallas, Texas, Tony. Absolutely, bro. What's cracking? Uh, I'm just right here sipping and tripping, driver. bro. Have a blessed night, bro. I want to uh, let you know that you guys got a good program going. 
Thank you, bro. Thank oh, yeah. you. And uh, I want to shout out Blind DJ, Blind Doe, and Cali, Mazuza. Yeah. Yes. Check him out, Tony. Yes, sir. And uh, keep up the good work. Y gracias. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> Do you have a question for us, bro? Or you just wanted to call and just give us, show us love? Hello? All right. Here we go. All right. All right. Let's go. Well, let's go. Let's go. Okay, caller, where are you calling from and what's your name? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello? Hello. Caller, where are you calling from and what's your name? Turn Hello? down your TV, bro. Turn down your TV. Callers. Hey, Tony A. Yes, sir. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Tony A. Yes, sir. Tony A. Yes. Hey, what's up, Tony A? This is Eddie Eugenio. I can hear you, bro. So, pretty much, I just wanted to give you a big shout out. If, if your TV, it, I mean, TV. Turn on your TV, bro, because we could barely hear you. Uh, so pretty much, bro. We I can't hear you on my side, but I pretty much have a, I have my TV, my TV on a low, low volume. Bro, there's a delay. There's a delay. So I, so. I, I pretty much can can hear. You. I I can't hear you, but I. So, but pretty much, I just want to give you a big shout out, and I want to send a big shout out to all my homies, Smokey Loco, Quine, my homie, fucking Stress One, and my fucking Miss Lovely, and my fucking big ass homie, fucking Trigger Nasty. All good, Colonel. Thank you, bro. Thank you for calling in, bro. Thank you. Much love. All right, cool, cool, whatever. We'll take one more phone call and then we're out of here. Let's get it. Okay, let's go. One of juicy one, dog. Um, awesome drama. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? Where you, and uh, what's our last phone call? Caller. All right. Yeah, okay. How you been? You good? I'm fucking good. You know what? Let's hold on. Caller, where are you calling from and what's your name? I get it. Call Yo, what's poppin'? It's the game. I don't know who the fuck was that. <laughs> that was the Phantom, Phantom of the Opera. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? <laughs> Caller. Uh, Turn down your TV, bro. Fuck. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? Turn down your... Hello? Nice. Oh, fuck it. One more phone call. We're trying to get more. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? Hello? Caller. Fuck! What the fuck is wrong? One more, twenty minutes. One more. I know. I like, know. I, yeah, I, I'm, no, I'm I know. trying to make it happen. Like, <laughs> I'm what trying, fuck? motherfucker. <laughs> the kids, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, motherfucker. Let's get it, Tony. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Obama phone, dog. <laughs> what the fuck, dog? Like we need to step it up, my G. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is his chest, man? What the fuck? Come okay, on, man. We're trying. Look at it. Caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? We only one shot away. Let's get it. Gang, gang. Caller. Okay. You know what, Alex? I'm going to try again. I'm going to disconnect. You're going to have to call somebody. You're going to do something. Do something, I say. Call Mega Man. 
<laughs> the homie Mega Man. Call her. Call her. Call her. Okay. I don't understand this shit, bro. Uh, I don't know what's going on. On my way. Hold on. We got to get one more motherfucking call. Yeah, at least one fucking call. Let's get that shit in, G. Okay, hold on. Tony got a fucking line up Modelo Negros and shit. Let's call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Call her. Oh, come on, G. Get on. Alec, are you sure? Call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Here we go. Come on, speak up. Let's Call her. It. Let's get it. Fuck them. Call her. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Oh, we need a GPS. GPS. Call her. Call her. You know what I'm I can see you on the TV, but not through the phone. Hello? Yeah. Alex, are you sure we're good over there? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing something. Okay, what's your question? Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? You know what? We're good. You, we're good, bro. Let's, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah, he's fucking throwing, he's throwing headphones. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good, good you know what? Go fuck, it, fuck it, let's go. You're uh, on mute, I said you're on mute, fool. If there's anything, um, Kanan, that you learned from this? From this, from this call? Yeah. Man, I'm, 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 I'm good, I'm blessed, I'm being with the homie right here. Yeah. The big homie, fucking, just living that way, middle life, done, doing my thing, dog. Alex, big homie Alex and shit, AK. The homie uh that's gonna shoot my next fucking video. Twenty dollars, you know we're gonna get his shit cracked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got me, dog. You know, you got it. Don't trip. I got you twenty bucks, don't trip. Don't trip, I'll buy you dinner, dog. Don't trip. I'll pay you forty for the next video. Nah, but yeah. I'm I'm right here with I'm right with the big homie, dog. We we over here in a dub. We on my neighborhood, my block. You know, you know what's up. Okay, we're gonna try one, one more. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Call her. Hello. Guy all late. Yes. He is fucking. What am I swear to that homeboy? What, what's your call, brother? Hello. What's your question, brother? And if you could hear me, uh, so Tony, I just wanted to ask you, uh, if you ever had beef with anybody when you first started in the industry? I'm sorry. Can you can you repeat that again? Can you repeat that again? Well, he said something like, "Did you, you still, ever have oh, beef yeah. in the industry when did you, you first started?" Yeah, did you ever speak to anybody from the industry oh, back you then? Ever have beef with anybody in the industry? He said. Did I ever have beef in the industry? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Well, I did, homie. No, <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't, bro. So thank you, bro. Okay, thank you for that call. Let's take one more call. Hopefully, this works. Let's get it. Come on, let's get it. Call her. You there? Call her. Tony, spit out the gum, dog. Spit out your gum, Mister. Call her. Are you there? All right. I guess. All right. You're All right. Is that real? Okay. I guess so. Hold on, Alex. Let's I'm gonna try more. The the Bluetooth one more time, bro. Get off your phone, bro. Hold, <laughs> Hold on. One more time. The roadcaster. Get your get your son to call in. Call in for call you there. <laughs> Hello, this is B Skelis. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm then, down. Uh, when you do freaky tales again, uh, much love. Appreciate oh, appreciate shit, what you're love. doing. Uh, you have a good night. Yeah, homie. It's just late. Hold on, let me see. Freaky tales. Hello, caller. Are you there? 
What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Yes, we're here. No. One more phone call, that we're done. Caller, where are you calling from? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Caller. Hey. You know what? Fuck it. We're done. I, we're done, I, I, I agree with you. No, no, no Miss Pac Man um, cursed the phone calls. Phone I'm sorry. Yeah, like, come on, bitch. Really? Like, stop, please. Just move on. We're good. Go Johnny. fuck somebody else's life on. Life yeah. up. Exactly. Please, girl, come on. You know? Get a fucking Avato with low self esteem or a virgin and just fucking take advantage of that fucking lane, dude. Nah, I mean. Come on. Nah, nah I mean. There's yeah, there's plenty of fucking Vatos that like fucking sleeping in canals, dog. It's okay. I let verga away. There's plenty of dudes that love. There's plenty of guys that don't know what the fuck is good and bad, you know? Exactly. <laughs> There's plenty of versions that don't know it's tight and loose, you know? A gobble gobble. Gabba 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 figure out gabba. Hey Johnny, has she ever tried to send you any type of shit? She don't fuck with me, dog. Cause you know what? Cause all the lame she fucks with, I'll fucking beat up. That little short faggot that you know what I'm saying like he can't fuck with me, dog. I'll beat him up in front of his baby mama's house, dog. He don't know me. <laughs> I'm fucking with metal, dog. You're fucking lame ass fool. Fuck out the game twisted, homie. Not me. Um, yeah, she can't. She no. Uh, I mean, uh, it's all good. Point now, it just it's just a, it is what it is, dog. These fools trying to bang and shit, trying to say shit, or the people that she's trying to bring up is. Well, you know, if she's trying to bring them up, it's because she's fucked. Up. So, no, it's just she's fucked. So you got to reach out to the people you know, right? Huh? No, well, it's the people you know are weenies. You can't Tiger really. Big... Well, today you got guys that <laughs> that will fucking sleep with anything, and that's yeah. carne asada, carne asada. You know anything? Yeah, she's kind of. She's anything, bro. <laughs> like kind of sad to die like, you know? like she'll sleep with anything bro so that's nah, you know, 2018, that's just the way it is bro that's that's tiger. that's, that's white material i guess right oh, no, to, 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 <laughs> to these lames yeah my girl's getting mad at me look you see like get the so, fuck up. but you could take up the, sada. you could take up the headphones bro so. nah they, fuck the headphones they said the liquor's kicking in but that shit kicking that liquor <laughs> <laughs> nigga we got look at look, that look at shit, shit. <laughs> look at no, no, fuck it. You, you know, no, hold on. Don't drink it all because your girl might want to sip. No, wait, yeah, I got it. I got about a shot and a half right here. It's okay. Look at it. Look at it. A gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble. So. Shit. Here, my, my. Hit the last wig. Hit the last wig of that. Gobble, gobble. With How would you feel thing. if Miss Packman approached you and told you, Tony here, right me? Tony, baby. Like, bitch, is that a blessing? Because ain't nobody trying to fuck you. I don't know. All right, damn. See, you fuck, see, Tony? What the fuck, bro? How much you give him? Yeah, exactly. It's not a rape if you... Uh, God, see, see? All right, let me stop. Let me stop. No, no. You don't say the R name. The R shit. Don't say rape. Mm -hmm. If you're open and giving, that's different. Right. You know, like, we should have... We should have We should have put it on a fig. We should have made money offer. Tony. <laughs> Uh, no, no, Tony ate Got me. It. Tony ate me. <laughs> Shit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you would have been all fucked. You know, if you ate that, your lips would have been all bumpy. Of course. Off. <laughs> you would have been like, Tony, look at this fucking guy. Yes, he, he has to do shows when he's not fucking. He's, he's got to wear flaring. a mask. When he's, he's not flaring. He's got to wear a mask. So. He has to do shows when he's not flaring up. So. Oh, yeah, anyways. Oh, I'll, I'll go. Ah. Fuck that bitch. Got All right, bro. Uh, Johnny. I want to thank you, bro. Let's Not your granny's motherfucking cookies. We're flavor is life. Shout out to Big Sis. Now these are not medicated, no, right? Not medicated, no. Okay. <laughs> hey, why you laughing, that's it? You're going too hard, homie. What the fucking oh, comments be saying? Nah, it's all good though. Like, but we hear it. Oh, this is a wheel my stang, dog. Absolutely. Fucking B scanners came out of his fucking hole. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> good. Like, a good uh, he, he watched. He, he was watching gay porn the whole time. The whole with fucking Ma with time. Mega Man. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, I thought Mega Man was gonna come, but he kicked the beast scanner the whole time. No, he did come. So. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, so coming like ten minutes before the shit's over. You got me fucked up. <laughs> Bob, the right here, bro.
Shit. Fucking Mega Man. Like, fuck. My boy. <laughs> He's a straight. <laughs> He's a straight fucking gangster. Uh, gangster cuck. So, anyways, yes, yeah. yeah. Keep it cooking, bro. Keep it cooking. Keep it cooking. All right, we're out of here. Johnny, any shout outs you want to give? Shout like, out to my straight up, for, straight up, my girl, my children, yeah. my parents, everybody that supports me in music, my boy S. Dad's, my boy in the music. Not your granny's cookies. Not your motherfucking granny's cookies where flavor is motherfucking life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you, can, you can eat them, you can get high, you can fucking smoke rock, whatever you want to do, dog. Do your thing. But um, mm-hmm. that's what it is, bro. So, shout out to everybody that supports me, and shout out to fucking everybody that's down with the fly, bro. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. And um, my kids watching it, they're gonna watch that shit like at least ten times, and they're gonna be saying all this fucking vulgar shit that I'm saying. So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> like, you know, skip it. But you trying to bob yeah, and weave? You bob and weave, homie. Bob and weave. All right. But, yeah. All good. Shout um, out to Tony, motherfucking a dog, the motherfucking wizard. Drink with the Wizards coming up soon, right? Come on, motherfucker. One last question before we're out of here. Not, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I have to. Fuck a spot. Okay. Why has an enemy caught that fade with... Uh, ah, this fucking guy. Glica one bad boy. Uh, it should be coming soon. I don't know. Okay, cool. Because I don't want to get a phone call and say, why are you in the middle of this? Here's my thing. This guy called you that's, out. That's their shit, bro. Like, no, like, all bullshit aside, like, they got to handle it. All right, that's that's their bullshit. That's their bullshit. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna keep he's gonna keep coming to the handle. So. Yeah. All good. Yeah. All right, we're out of here. Much love, much respect. Your girl wants a swig. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> much love, much respect once again to American Cholo Podcast Gil. Make sure you just go over there and subscribe and follow him. Um, he's putting it down for the neighborhood, not only for the yeah, neighborhood for the raza. So. My boy Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise, my son B. Scandalous, and the Norbert, he got re- re-ended, not physically, but in his car, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he probably got re-ended. He probably, he probably kicked it with, with my boy um, Mega Man? Yeah, I know. Okay, go. Uh, well, I don't know. He got re-ended. <laughs> so, Fucking Norbert. Yeah, so Norbert and then my son. He's going to be walking funny on Saturday when I see that about the line. My son B. Scandalous. Don't be limping, and, fucker. Don't be limping. Yeah. And the hip hop Jedi. And I'm gonna thank <laughs> once again Gil, Magic Girl, and Erica for oh. calling in. And you know what? We're gonna keep calling. Look, let me tell you, if you wanna know uh, the story behind your favorite rapper, call me and I'll tell you. Yeah, Why hasn't my favorite rapper been on Rodium Radio? Because they can mela pela. So you, yeah, exactly. So you know what? Call me and I'll tell you. We out of here. Stay blessed. And uh, once again, um, uh, much love, much respect, and uh, What's a cookie? eat the cookie, bitch. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> we must, uh, we must, have motherfucking built in. We out of here. We out of here. Stay blessed.